his own paladin. Recap last session. Uh, you guys did a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. um, and you ended that walk in Londar and Nier. And you did some shopping, which was interesting. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, there was something I forgot to do last week or last time, but I'll do um, it later. Yeah. And you actually did identify the tooth as a basilisk tooth. Yes. 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 If I were to, to see another one, would I recognize it like another necklace with a basilisk tooth on it? Probably. Okay. Would we be able to identify it? Yeah. I mean, this I is a pretty unique necklace. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do you actively wear it? Nope, I do not wear it. I carry it with me. Is it visible? Like, I mean, it's probably like attached to my belt, yeah. Okay. That works. Seraph um, becomes increasingly more ang anxious. It's sort of one <laughs> of those things where, like, if somebody else was wearing it, I just want to know that I've seen it enough times that I would it would catch my attention, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not keeping it a secret or anything. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, the more obvious it is, the more someone else might ask about it. Or assassins, I don't know. This actually works. Cool. I'm just going to have this tab open. Yay. He says, as he is now playing in a bar. <laughs> oh, Steven, did you want to do a Spotify thing, too? Oh, yeah. I have. Oh, I'm currently it. listening to a Spotify. Okay. I just need to do the thing. That's the wrong <laughs> chat channel. That would be confusing. Um, okay, so yeah, and you identified that as a basilisk tooth, and wanting to like go into trauma with a full night's sleep and probably a bath before seeing Baladin after walking for 45 days. Uh-huh. Um, we were writing. Writing for 45 days. Um, you got rooms at an inn, and that's where we're going to pick up. Uh, Travis, I hope you started recording. I did not give you a warning. You I, should start we're, recording. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. That's <laughs> the, but you saying that is going to make it into the video. It's so, so great. Okay. Um, so all of you have had basically one of the most restful nights of sleep that you've ever had in your life. You're not sure if it's the craftsmanship of the bed, the fact that you're in civilization again after a month and a half in the wilderness, with bears and wolves and maybe a banshee, maybe a hag. What the fuck was that? Oh my. Or the feeling of sa being safe. Uh, but it's all of you wake up rested and everything. If you still had uh, exhaustion levels that you were tracking, you don't, you don't have those. They're just all gone. And Seraph, you actually woke up before everybody else. Okay. Uh, Ilya was next, and then the other two woke up whenever they wanted to. Actually. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, just for clarification purposes, we're at the inn that has, like, the downstairs that isn't really a downstairs kind of thing? Nope, that was uh, right on the border of the area. Okay. You're in... Oh, just a normal ass inn, then? Uh, I mean, it's elven, but yeah, basically a normal ass inn. Uh, yeah, uh, well, if I'm the first to wake up and Ilya's still asleep, I'd probably order, like, food for the two of us. Yeah. Um, and you notice down here, much like what you noticed outside, all of these elves, um, they're wearing clothes with sleeves that go past their hands, and even when they're serving you, their hands aren't exposed. They're basically operating everything through their sleeves. Heard. That's probably all I do. Wait for everyone else to wake up. Yeah. Um, it's such a small amount of gold, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. It's like a silver. If you want to clear, if you 
actually want to track it? I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, you other two? You mean just, you know, get up, get her stuff Waking together. Waking up, yeah. <laughs> Things meet people yeah. do in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. In the common area. Yeah, just meet up with the rest of the group. Yeah. So, what's the plan for today, now that we're actually here and rested? You just head back, right? <laughs> Definitely an idea. I don't think Ilya would be too keen on it, though. Wait, you mean this wasn't a day trip? I feel tricked. We just spent, like, 45 days on the road. It's not a, exactly a day trip. A 45-day trip? Was it really that long? Hmm. Like a month and a half trip. No, yeah, I want to find him. I mean, do you know where to look? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, last time we just asked somebody, we were told it was a very common name, so I feel like that probably won't work this time. We could just stand outside and scream it until someone comes. I think that's a thing I need to retcon. That it's a very common name? Uh... That conversation. Okay. I wonder if we um, could always inquire about a, a valid and who returned. Uh, how long ago would he have gotten here? Um, well, it would have been around the same time after I left Boston City. So, eight months? Sanders counting on his fingers. <laughs> Didn't you also say he was some sort of noble or something, too? Or am I imagining things? No, he's a noble. So, I mean, it's more of a way for us to identify him, I guess. Do elves have family estates? Would it be easy as finding him if just there? I don't know how much nobility means, really. I mean, technically, aren't I a noble? Technically? <laughs> well... <laughs> It could just mean that he's more well-known. Well, I mean... Oh, no. Well, I guess that's actually a good question. Steven, would Miriam know anything about that? If, if, if considered nobles would have, like, some sort of, like, states aside from the rest of the housing or anything like that? Uh, you know that nobility works differently in elven culture. The, uh... Yeah. Elidore is ruled by basically a collection of appointed individuals from five different families. We'll relay that information. So if, if he's known as a noble, he's probably a member of one of those five families. So well, that... the problem may be more getting to someone with that level of fame than finding them. Yeah. Could be, yes. Well, my understanding well, is that you were invited here, right, Ilya? And we were here to help you get here? Yeah. Right, they'll yeah. be expecting you. So they're expecting you. They're expecting us, technically. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that they don't already know we're here. I mean, that's an assumption. I mean, yeah, maybe they already do. They're just... <laughs> I don't know. We're sitting in like the like common area, so I can see like the main desk that we checked in at. Yeah. Remind me, did they speak common there? Uh, not at first, but then that yes, they did. Okay, so but they they do speak common. So I'll I'll go up to the front desk while everyone's kind of trying to figure out what to do. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, I I'm sorry to bother you. Um, our rooms were great, by the way. Um, I just had a quick question for you. Uh, you wouldn't know anything about any of the higher-ups expecting, uh, some travelers coming through? Uh, we, me and my group were here to meet someone, but we have very little information on who they actually are. Oh, their business isn't something that I'm privy to, but who is it that you're here to meet? Uh, Valadin, I believe the 
individual's name was. I believe he's male, uh, some sort of higher up in society individual. Um, I didn't know Caladar? if maybe. I'm sorry. Valadin Caladar. Could be it, possibly. <laughs> Shrug. I, I again. I I'm afraid I don't know. I have a lot Fast. of information. Um, I didn't know if maybe they had left some sort of. Um, Word to uh, keep an eye out for an individual named Ilya Amori. No, nothing, nothing like that that we've mm. heard of. Uh, but if it's Baladin, he resides up in the. And then she says an elven word, which roughly translates to manor or keep or something like that. But there's no real good translation for it. Okay. Um. Up at the top of the canopy. Great. Uh, any idea who I need to talk to about maybe checking that out? I mean, if you get close enough, the guards will stop you. That works. <laughs> uh, maybe your funny. name means something to them. Uh, possibly. Uh, can you just point me in the right direction and me and my crew will probably get out of your hair here in a few minutes? Uh, she chuckles a little bit and she just points basically straight up and a little deeper into the city. Oh, gr great. Thanks. <laughs> He's in heaven. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to the group and I'll, I'll relay the information. Just, you know, we got to go further in the city. Uh, apparently, guards will just stop us if we get close to where we need to go. So I'm assuming this is the, the noble guy we're looking for. I think if we go to a lot of places, guards might try and stop us, though. I don't know if that's exclusive. Yeah, but like we could we could ask them more questions when we get there. Yeah. That's fair. So just try uh, to ask any guards we see then. <laughs> I would like everyone to make a perception check. Ooh, I'm so good at those. Oh yes you are. <laughs> Miriam gets distracted by Xander. <laughs> You're so perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Xander, your eyes scan the room uh, as you're talking to the rest of the party. Hmm. And you notice that dressed just like the elves with the sleeves uh, covering the hands and then the small cloak over that, there's a tiefling here. Um, and when your eyes meet his, there's a moment of eye contact before he looks away. Uh, definitely breaking first. Breaking eye contact, maybe a little too early. Is it one of those, like, do, does the guy look armed? Uh, he does not. So no, no visible weapons, like no armor? Nope. Okay. Well, if we don't have anything else to do here, and we're done with breakfast, I guess, if we're ready to go start looking for Valley Guy. Is that the new Valley version guy. of Valley Girls? Yeah. Yep. I, mean, I bet he has a really annoying voice. Like, just super <laughs> annoying. I bet it's... Most funny. nobles do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We, we really do. <laughs> Uh, but I, I want to, if when we're leaving, I want to see if, just try to keep an eye on the guy, like out of the corner of my eye, and see if he's watching us. Uh, like watching you go out the door. Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, so they, so we probably have a tail. Okay. Are you saying that to the rest of the group, or is that? Just... Yeah, yeah. It's at, when we when we break, like when we get through the threshold of a door and we get out into like the thoroughfare, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say like, there's this tiefling guy. <laughs> And uh, I don't know. Something about him just seemed a little off to me. I think he's. I think we got a tail. What do he look like? Just for recollections purposes. Cough, cough, Stephen. Cough, cough. Um, red tiefling, fairly big, prominent horns that go straight up into the air. Okay. Okay. He didn't appear to be armed. Black so hair. Maybe just somebody trying to keep an eye on our movements. As as another note, have we seen any non elves here other than that one guy? No, no, you have not. So that's already a little suspicious. Yeah, right. Tieflings are pretty rare too, so it's not like 
There's an abundance of us. Also, like, Miriam, do you know what's up with, like, the hand thing? I don't know. Do I? Do uh, yeah, you probably do. It's, um, elves by nature aren't violent, and it it is kind of a cultural thing. Um, the only, like, visible hands are sort of a sign that that person is okay with being violent, and it's <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, almost like a, like those people are looked down on a little bit, or separate. Am I getting some weird looks in here? <laughs> uh, not really. You guys last week saw, like, there are elven guards, and they, they walk around with their hands shown. Uh, they still wear gloves. Um, it's just a, a cultural thing where hands are kind of private okay Interesting. uh both in like a intimate sense and in a violence sense send prudes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh do we just look like a traveling group of harlots with our hands out <laughs> uh <laughs> because you all have visible weapons no you're definitely in that violence category oh, okay mm -hmm. it can be both they know we'll fuck shit up if we need to. I'm sure, like, the odd adventuring group is probably not completely unheard of. So. Uh, yeah. as, we're, as we're standing outside the inn, does that tiefling follow us? You're just standing outside the inn? I, I mean, thought we were walking. No, yeah, I thought we were we were starting to walk down the thoroughfare. Oh, okay. Well, then well, we're oh, yeah. heading Same in the uh, Make a perception check. Okay. I, I would like to assist you. Uh, and just trying to keep an eye out. Do you want me to roll that with advantage, Steven? Yes. Oh, come on, it was on the 20. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> For reference. Oh, I, I already love that. Oh, is there, uh, there a reference image I need to be looking at? Those are some thick horns. He's very anime. Yeah. <laughs> he is very anime. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> those are some thick horns, or that he's very anime? Well, an entirely different thing. Don't worry about it. An entirely... mm. um, yeah, you you definitely see this tiefling following you. Um, still sort of, still visibly unarmed, wearing the, like, the normal elven thing, trying to blend in. Uh, I'm going to turn to Xander and be like, hey, so should we do something about that? He's not armed. I can't see how he's going to hurt us. That doesn't mean <clears throat> a good thing that he's following us. If you want, I can hang back and maybe have a chat with the individual. If we split up, he can't watch both of us, both groups. That's true. Whoever he doesn't... I mean, follow. I, I would ahead. rather have him not follow us to Validin's place. Yo, welcome to MTV Cribs. My name's Validin, and you're gonna get the VIP tour. Gross. I gotta hate it. So, why don't me and Ilya split off to the side? If he follows you guys, we'll circle around him. We can confront him that way, and vice versa if he follows us. That works for me. Yeah. We'll just... Okay. So, Xander and Miriam's pace will just, like, kind of slow and let the other two go forward. Yeah. Um... Yeah, he uh, he actually catches up to you two, and he slows a little bit when he's a few steps away. Just which two? Like, is he, does it look like he's watching us or watching them? He's watching them. Uh, which two stay back? Xander. Uh, and Xander and Miriam. Yeah, he's gonna go up to you two. Hmm. Like to talk to us? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's even more troubling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Talking, oh no. What? <laughs> talking? That's my thing. I know we're both Short charisma direction. casters, but damn. <laughs> Why you got a single? So he so he, like he, he approaches us as if he's ready to start a conversation or Uh yeah, when actually when he's a, a few steps away, he says, uh Hello, you wow, hold on. <laughs> nice. Brain don't want work. It'd be like that. Hello, fellow kids. 
<laughs> I have more kids. God damn it. <laughs> Tatum, why? Sorry. Man, if I had this unmuted while I was like doing things, that would be really embarrassing. Hurt? Oh no. Ah, fuck it. You... You two said you were going to talk to Validin? That's sort of the idea. I... really need to speak with him. I have information he needs to know about, but he has no idea who I am. Well, as much as I would love to take on someone I don't know, um, it's not really my call. Yeah, it's not exactly our thing. I could deliver a message for you. Uh, I mean, maybe that'll work. I think he'll want to speak to me after that message is delivered. Uh, but there's an assassination plot to kill his father. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I have inside information, and I I just want to make sure that, that they can take any sort of precautions they need to. I don't... Look, this is an awkward situation. I don't, I don't like it, but I, I need to get to him, and I don't have any other options. Okay. So if you could tell him that, I, I'm staying at that inn. Name's Chaos. Great. Uh, I I'll, I'll look over at Miriam. Okay, yeah, we could. We yeah, I'll I'll deliver yeah. your message. Sure. Yeah, I'll I'll be down here. Thank you. Can I make like an insight check on this guy? Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, you can make an insight check. Like, I just want to see like kind of like if he's on the level or like if he's not if he's like withholding information. Well, we felt really good. Yeah. Not like Lindsay. every. Wow, I was still in his head there for a second. No, everything he uh. Everything he said to you, he believes. So yeah, he seemed so, so he seemed he... genuinely concerned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can. I'll definitely deliver the message. I'll let, we'll let him know. Again, thank you, thank you, sir. Hey, uh, as a as a quick note, uh, do you know a lot about this this Valadin fellow? I mean, he's second in line to join the council. No, but I mean, like, I don't know. I guess his demeanor, like, at we don't know him in particular. A friend of ours does, and we're just kind of escorting her here. I I mean, you're going to see him. I can't even get in. I guess that's, that's fair I, enough. I heard he's nice. I hope he's nice. All right. Well, uh, thanks. Of course. Fair to say we've looped around and caught up by now. Yeah. So uh, we, yeah. Yeah, we can catch that was back the up. plan. Yeah. Are they so, still are they still talking to him when we get back or is he pissed off? Uh you have the option. Uh while you're circling back you see them talking to him so you can decide to approach or wait for him to leave. Oh, I'm definitely going to approach. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. So whenever they come to a natural stopping point in the conversation, go, Well, I didn't expect him to just come up to us. That's easier than I thought. Uh Apparently he has some information for uh Valadin guy. Yeah, his what? uh Yeah, I have insider information about an assassination plot against Valadin's dad. Excuse me? How do you have this information? I have a book. A book. I have a book. Uh um, promising? He he pulls from his little pack thing on his side this book, and it is black leather with gold and purple reflective uh, decorative embroidery. And he, I guess the next thing that you would notice is what's hanging off the book. On a little chain, there's a basilisk tooth that has the same fastener to it 
that the one on your necklace has Seraph. Uh, it's not the exact same tooth, but... Right. Same image. Um, it has the same, like, the... The part of the tooth that becomes jewelry is exactly the same. Uh, Ilya, D, did you have more questioning for him before I just jump in there? Well, he's, uh... So he pulls that out and he just opens it. And on the page, there is a uh, a single name written down. Uh, what is this? Ardress, fucking death note? Kaladar. Name, Stephen? What was the name again? Ardreth Kaladar. Curse. Um... Was there any, is there anything else in the book? Is it literally just this that you have? Um, do you take the book from him to look? Yeah. On, on this page, it's just his name. Flipping forward in the book, the pages are blank. When you flip back a page, there's a list of names. And they all have a strike through through them and then a set of initials afterwards can we all see this if we like yeah. go over and look um hey do Sarah. I recognize any of the names? you don't Sarah, what were your parents names oh shit um are my parents names on that book steven if we flip through. There's probably a lot of names. It happened a long time ago. Do I you mean, want to look through the book for your parents' names, Seraph? For the last name Zeldari, yeah. Yeah, the last names are Zeldari. Um, make an investigation check. Can I assist in that? Yeah. You said an investigation check? Yep. Okay. Uh, with advantage... Hey, I'm actually good at investigation. It's a miracle. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> oh. Oh. You are unable to find your parents' names in that book. Um, oh. It might be that you're just too emotionally charged to focus at the task at hand. Uh, I'm going to take the, the necklace off of my belt, and I'm just going to hold it up to him. He's like, all right, there's some explaining that needs to happen right now between this and that. You're saying you don't know what this book is and you have that? Correct. You You don't know about the Order of the Basilisk? Uh, no, I don't. Should we have a chat? It feels like we should have a chat. <laughs> uh, th this is important to you. Yeah, we should have a chat. Yeah, we uh, absolutely should. Still, can we chat and walk? I still want this message to get the valid in. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So... Uh, that's yeah, you guys are just having this conversation as you're climbing higher and higher into this city of trees. So this Order of the Basilisk, what do they do? It's sort of an assassin's guild. Interesting. And you can just hire them to take out anyone? Or is there you, rules? You perform a ritual and a name gets added to the book. And all the sisters can see it. I'm sorry, all the sisters? Members. Oh. Um, I killed one and this book became mine. I have no interest in joining them, so I try to do what I can. That's very good. We'd be at very severe odds if that were the case. No, um, have I ever heard of this group? I was just wondering the same thing. I'm going to say no. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do have the uh, ear to the Why ground background. Uh, and my chosen segment of society is the criminal underworld. You would know about it. You may not know the ritual to summon them, but you would know that at the very least, there's a very, very elusive assassin's guild that seems to be very good at their job, and no one knows where they meet or how they communicate. Okay. Uh, so, 
Chaos, do you, if I write in this book, that's effectively making a contract? Oh, oh no. No one writes in these books. They, uh... These are... These names just appear when someone completes the ritual. Oh, so it's like a third party. Someone else puts it in the book, and then... Yeah, I don't even know who wanted to assassinate him. I just know they want him dead. And I know mm. some sisters are going to be on their way here to make that happen. Interesting. Uh, so, Ilya, I imagine you don't want that to happen. No, of course not. Valadin um, speaks very highly of his father. We should probably keep watch tonight, then. At least one of us at all times, regardless of our situation. I mean, I would agree. Uh, and I would also like to vote that we keep this uh, individual as close to us as possible can for the next while. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. No, that's fantastic. But everyone else is cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I guess we just keep going up that way. I have more questions, but if he's staying with us, I'll ask them in a later point. I mean, you can keep asking if you want. I I need time to formulate exactly my thoughts. <laughs> I think the only question I really have is you claim to have killed one of these assassins? Yeah. How? How? You don't seem like a very formidable individual, I hope you don't mind me saying. You're just not visibly armed or armored in any way. Oh, I don't, I don't wear armor. It gets in the way. Uh, he, like, basically wiggles his arm to get the sleeve uh, off of his hand, and he pulls up part of the robe where underneath you can see he's wearing pants and walking boots, and he pulls from Keep his right hip wizard. a revolver. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. As, a, as a question, do I even know what that is? Uh... You may have seen them once or twice in just combat. You you probably don't know how it works. Uh, but they're, they are definitely uncommon. It's like someone walking into battle with a halberd. People just don't generally do that. Swords are better. Um, easier to teach someone how to use. It's but like you might a, have seen one or two. It's sort of like a, a crossbow, right? Something like that, yeah. Well, I mean, if you manage to uh, take out one of these people, uh, if, you, if you don't mind me asking, what were they? Um, elf, human, tiefling, like yourself? Uh, the one I killed was a human. Human. Well, I imagine if they're going to infiltrate this elven city, I mean, I know the woods turned us away, but... Hmm. I guess it might be a good idea to keep an eye out for people who aren't, who are different. That's very racist. <laughs> I'm used to it. Hmm. Too much manly thoughts. Just a little racist, yeah. He's still kind of just like holding the gun out in his palm. Uh, maybe you should put that away. I mean, it's not going to do anything if I don't want it to but he says that while putting it away. <laughs> <laughs> just Ellie is just is clearly very uncomfortable by the side of it. Can I can I use a, a gun and a shield at the same time? Can I do that? <laughs> uh is yeah. that is that a martial weapon? Oh my god. Uh Give Miriam a gun 2020. <laughs> it's probably exo an exotic weapon, right? <laughs> I'm actively looking it up. I have it in my files because I saved it. Yeah, because I have I have proficiency with with all martial weapons. Yeah. A revolver is a weapon in D and D fifth edition that. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's actually just a firearm. It's a different thing entirely. Okay, so it it is its own thing. Okay. It shoot bullet. Got you. 
So having a proficiency with slings wouldn't be particularly helpful. <laughs> no, they operate in entirely different ways, as it turns out. I, I assume that it's probably like a you have to take a feat for it, or something. Uh, I think there might be a feat that you can take for it, but generally these are tied to classes. Yeah, right? it's like the like a subclass, like yeah. the gunslinger. Yeah. Uh, there's also pistolero and sniper that I allow. Yeah. As well as a bunch of others. So chaos was it, right? Yeah. First of all, love the name. Excellent. Um. Follows me wherever I go. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I like him. He's We're gonna mutant. be friends. Um. So. Th I so many questions that I don't know that you're gonna have the answers for. If I'm being honest. I can try. Uh, any information at all about this individual you killed with this book? Anything? What they were wearing? If they had uh, any makeups on them? They had leather armor. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't take anything from them. I, I killed her, and then I go home, and the next day I wake up and this book is on my bedside table. I try to throw it away. The next day it's back. So, does that? Well, that's okay. I have so many questions about that. Does that mean you're part of them now? I think so. I don't want to be. Well, shit. Okay, um. Well, a... to be quite honest with you, I don't think I can really trust you around Valadin if you're a part of an organization that wants to kill his family. I'm a. I'm an unwilling member of an organization that is hired to kill his family. Chaos, how do you think you look in a dress? I mean, what I'm wearing practically is one. They're expecting us, right? And Are you going to suggest to switch places with him, Sarah? I'm saying maybe we could figure out more information that way. How? Just I... bring him with us and just say he's part of the group. Well, right, but what if someone on the inside knows about all of this as well? And they know we're here with another person. The more... As opposed to us just being here. The more we talk about this and the more that... It seems even though you're an unwilling member of this organization... I mean, mystics have controlled people over far distances. And that's the power of wizardry and sorcery and its own right, so who's to say whether or not when you get within proximity to this individual, maybe you'll pull your gun out start shooting. I mean, you want to hold him? I do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I do. Maybe, uh, maybe don't give them the rounds. <laughs> so he, he does the thing again and he actually pulls a pistol from both sides. Then he hands them both over to you after kind of showing off a bit and flipping them around his fingers. And he lands so the, the hilts are pointing towards you, holding his arms out. Elliot just looks really unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> I will take one of them and hand the other one to Miriam. Uh, and in that flare, he did unload the guns. Yeah, that, that Do you have me... any other form of weaponry? I... I have more bullets, but they're not going to do any good without those. It's like having a crossbow bolt without the crossbow. It's not really going to do much. You can still stab someone with one of those. I've seen it. Alright, I don't know if I should Fair trust enough. you. I mean, he's currently <laughs> weaponless, if nothing else. I mean, if nothing else, we just took two guns from this guy. We can just leave. Right. He actually, I'm kind of fine with that. <laughs> at this point, he'll remove the... the light robe he's wearing and he's just uh basically pants and uh kind of nice shirt it's got some ruffles on it nice all right so uh, we should probably keep an eye on him i agree with that but i do think we should take him with us i mean now that he's disarmed well, i have no i have no qualms yeah, looking at him now, you don't see any weaponry. Um, down the sides of uh, each of his pant legs, there are 
basically his pants are designed so that there's little slots for bullets to slide into. Hmm. Can we have a sidebar for just a moment without this one? And she just points to the dude. Sure. I can go stand over there. Try not to look down. Be scared. Yeah, can you please give us a moment? It, it, yeah, sure. Okay, and then Ilya's just gonna, like, walk, like, 30 feet away and, like, keep walking. She, like, waits and then keeps walking until she's, like, around a corner. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a little bit higher now. There is a staircase around the corner of the tree, so you're actually, like, looking down at where he is. He's just rolling a coin across his fingers. All right. Um, you guys don't have any qualms with a dude who is unwillingly a part of an organization now who wants to kill Valadin's father? Oh, no, I absolutely am, but I think we could take him four on one if we had to. Yeah, I mean, also, he has no don't want to be that bitch. Don't get me wrong. Ilya, love you. Great person. Weren't you also unwillingly a part of an organization that was killing people? Yes. Oh. And I still... I still killed people because I had to. That is my point. And but on that note, should we man. not trust you? As a, like, I don't, as an I'm aside, just, if we're not willing to take I him, escape. like if we're, if you, I'm just saying to, I'm out. Um, he is not out. He is in the organization as we speak. He's would trying it, to get out, though. Would it make you feel better? he were manacled I mean it... well I don't think that would look very good when it comes to us getting approached by a guard my understanding is he just wants to warn like we can go and warn we don't have to bring him with he said he would be waiting at the inn if we decided not to take him I would just feel more comfortable if he did not tag along I mean if you feel more comfortable with the possible assassin is out of your line of sight. That's up to you. I think at least one of us should stay with him. Uh, I just don't want him being in the same room as Valadin and his family. So then who stays behind then? I mean, I can. <laughs> uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't... I, uh, but what if we... Never mind. Again? What if we... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't want to sit... <sighs> I don't know how to do this. I'm just... <sighs> I'll tell we you what. Just... Go ahead. I have no idea what's going to happen when you meet up with Valadin. Things could be hairy. They could be great. They could be fine. Honestly, that's your thing. If you want someone to keep an eye on the guy, I can stay behind and keep an eye on him. There's nothing for me up there. Shit hits the fan. All I got is a sword. Miriam can light the whole village on fire and burn the whole thing down. She's a little bit more useful than me in a fight. I just don't want us to separate again. I don't like the idea either, but... I as, don't. As far as the track record for getting kidnapped or taken away, Xander's the best out of all of us, so... Um, I mean, that's completely fair. Like Felt if, targeted, but okay. I mean, if shit really hits the fan, I mean, I can, like, teleport short distances. I can only do it right. so many times per day, but... I... I mean, yeah, I, I think if one of us should do it, it should probably be Xander. Just for the sake of him being... Because, I mean, we're obviously... We can't leave you here. In the... If you guys get separated and you need a healer, I have to be there. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm being shut. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I made a funny joke. Yeah, like I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, if if we can't decide, I'll make the executive decision. Just give me his guns, and then I'll, we'll go wait at the end for you guys to get back. I mean, if he's not coming with us, it is only fair to give him back his guns. I don't want to, though, for the record. I'd like to keep No, it. I'm definitely keeping one of if these you, unless it, he asks for it back. If you want, I can ask him while you guys are gone where he got them made. 
That's not the same. I already have one. Why would I need a second one? Give me his gun. <laughs> <laughs> I hand over the gun reluctantly. Give me I'm, the gun, I'm not Miriam. handing over the gun. Give me I'm the not gun, handing Miriam. over the gun. No, this it's is mine now. It's not yours, it's his. It is mine now, he didn't ask for it back yet. Give me the gun. Mary oh, hands over the gun, pouting. <laughs> I'll go talk to Chaos, and I'll say, they're going to go ahead, I'm going to wait with you back at the end to make sure nothing happens to you. Uh, yeah, I have my guns back if I could. Yeah. I mean, you could wait until the end, but like... No, I'll hand it back to him. He does the same sort of flare thing as he puts them back in their holsters. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I'll just head back to the end with the guy, and on the way I'll just strike up a conversation about him and see if I can't get him to tell me where he got him made. Oh, I, I made him myself. Really? Yeah. You know, I have an entire, like, militia of people I need to arm. If you can craft these things yourself and Jesus. kind of fade, it kind of fades off. <laughs> Is your girlfriend your militia? I mean, we have, an, <laughs> we have an entire keep we have to protect. If we can hire a gunsmith, that'd be dope as fuck. That didn't answer the question, Travis. <laughs> you know, like, you see, like, the, like... In fantasy battles, you get like like the, the like hundreds of foot soldiers, and then you have like the one fucking wizard that's like blowing up giant like regiments of people. That's Miriam. Yeah, yeah. They're not incendiary. I really hope you're actually saying this too, Chaos. I really hope you're talking about her to. <laughs> oh, she sounds like a fine lady. Was that said with a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, or just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to convince him. Uh, well, I'm going to tell him about Damarell, and I'll, I'll tell him. I'll talk to him about, like, maybe if, you know, if he's sick of wandering around the world and wants a place to stay, you know, we're trying to build the town up. We could definitely use people who know metal and metal works. Uh, I mean, by virtue of what I try to do, I'm always moving. I don't really have a place I call home anymore. There's a new name in this book at, at least once a week. Hmm. I suppose that's fair. Well, I mean, there's always the possibility that we end whatever this conflict is and maybe put a stop to whatever this organization is. I'm trying to find an organization that I haven't seen a, another member of in months. Well, if there's... Tried to kill her. She left me with this. And he, like... Pulls up his shirt to show a scar on his stomach. Is he even actively fighting these people? I mean, I go to warn the people that I recognize the names of, and sometimes I get caught in the middle. So is that fair? Which makes you wonder what you get if you end up killing the person. What happens? What's your recompense? You weren't recruited. I think if you kill one of them, you get a book. Hmm. I think you get their book. It had names in it when I got it. No, I mean, like, what were, what would happen if you acted on the name, is what I'm saying. What if, if you killed... Uh, definitely not looking up the guy's name. Like, if you killed uh, Ardreth, what's the reward? Uh, what's the incentive? If I had to guess, money. Hmm. I haven't seen a name I've wanted to kill yet. I suppose that's fair. Hmm. But yeah, uh, figured we just hang out at the tavern for a while, have a few drinks, and just wait for everybody to get back. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Uh, basically, you're you're just chilling in a corner booth. Uh, you other three are still climbing. Mm hmm. And it's not creepy anymore so i need to change that and they never came back <laughs> <laughs> and who are they is it bad that i'm more worried about the three of you than i am me by myself <laughs> by yourself with a man with two guns yeah like i i feel pretty safe what's he gonna do uh, shoot me uh yeah we can we can go um the ladies all are climbing 
through the city. Um, you're getting higher and higher in the trees, and it isn't long before you lose sight of the ground entirely. It's sort of confusing how the elves could build something so strong on branches so thin. Mm -hmm. But they somehow did it. And you come to a place where it seems as if all the roads up here are sort of leading to one place. Where throughout the rest of the city, the roads were kind of scattered, appeared unorganized, haphazard, uh, with no sense of design to them. Up here, it's very orderly and planned. And we haven't uh, noticed any guards yet as we're walking. Not yet, but as you come to the center of this area, you come to essentially a large circular walkway, and you're essentially on the treetops at this point. And in the middle of this large circular walkway, there are four paths, uh, bridges, whatever you want to call them quartering this circle, and in the center there's a very, very large, grand building. Uh, and at each one of the four entrances to that center platform, there are guards posted. I mean, they said try to walk right past them and they'll stop us, right? Uh, yeah. We'll take up the rear behind the other two. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I'll leave. Yeah, when you when you get near to where the guards are, they cross their spears in front of you, keeping you from going. And they look at you and ask, what's your business here? My name is Ilya Mori. I'm here to see Valadin. Kalidar? I, I know who Valadin is. Yeah, and... so do I. <laughs> we, weren't, we weren't implying that you didn't? <laughs> it was just the way she said Kaladar, like as a as a question. Like I'm here to see Valadin, Kaladar. Well, she didn't know his last name before this moment. You have to mm. remember that. Yeah. Um, I mean the guard doesn't know that. Nerd. Oh my um, god. <laughs> <laughs> he he makes a motion to the other guard, and the other guard kind of jogs to the main building. He'll check that out, see if we can let you pass. Until then, just wait here. How far is the distance between the main building? How far is he running? Uh, like 120 feet or so. Oh, cool. So a long distance in armor. Ellie just looks annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any better, he'll be real sweaty under that armor when he gets back. <laughs> I hope he gets armor chafe. That shit hurts. <laughs> oh no, what is Travis typing? <laughs> that fancy yeah, elven air conditioned armor. It's elven standard issue. Yeah. It's expected. That's why they're in such a good mood all the time. <laughs> they got a little breeze going underneath. <laughs> Cannot think of something that would put me in less of a good mood. Um, <laughs> it's at this point in your conversation. <laughs> so I assume of what what of that could be in character is. Um, the guard comes back, and he whispers into the guard that's been standing there's ear, and they both step to the side and gesture for you to go through. Just go straight through that door down the hallway up the stairs and through the next door and you'll be where Valadin is. Ilya just doesn't say anything and just goes. <laughs> I'm going to look back at them as we're walking past and be like, they're not going to take us? Okay, I'm going to look around. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you make the, the like 120-ish foot walkway journey easily. Open the door and inside it's a grand sort of foyer. Um, no staircases here yet. 
Uh, but the hallway goes down to the end where doors are off either side of it. Uh, by each door, there is a guard. I guess just I'm going to go up to one of the guards and just say, I'm here for Valadin. Can you point me to where he is? Point straight down the hallway. Okay, she's just going to follow. Leah <laughs> <laughs> is on a mission. <laughs> Yeah, you, you continue walking down the hallway. There's a part uh, 50 feet in or so where there's four or five steps leading up to a second level, and at the top of that, there's a door. Um, this one has guards as well, but they don't move to stop you or anything as you reach for the door handle. I'm just going to open it then. Yeah. Uh, opening it inside... You see Valadin kind of standing awkwardly beside a desk. Uh, there's a book open on it. Ilya, you came. Well, of course I did. I didn't. It, I mean, it had been over a month. <laughs> it had been over a month without any contact. I wasn't sure. I sort of expected you sooner. Um, we've been traveling for about a month and a half now. I left not long after your letter. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are my, um, hmm. adventuring are people that I ended up befriending after Boston City. Um, and Ellie is just gonna like look at the floor and not know what to do. I immediately walk up to Valid and hold on my hand and say, "I'm her girlfriend. How are you?" <laughs> I'm good. I didn't expect her to have a girlfriend. What's your name? Uh, Seraph Zaldari. Oh, pretty name. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of his hand and take a step backwards. Um, this is Miriam. Hi, Fel. Hi. Hello. Half-elf? Yeah. Mother or father? Mother. What was her name? Hmm. That's a good <laughs> question! Um, hold on just a second while I, uh, figure out what her name is. Yeah, welcome to that DM pain. God damn it. I would know this is even funnier because I even saw something today where it was like when the DM asked for your parents' name and you're like, ooh. <laughs> uh, hold on just a second. Her name was. <laughs> Amizra. I can hear Gotta you. Gotta write that down. Kind of name generator right now. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> Where did all this came from? Amizra. Amizra. Did you take on your father's last name? Yes. What was her last name? Give it, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Now she's opening up Fantasy Name Generator. That was pretty open. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, that's too scary. <laughs> a Misra fake name. Uh, Faden. A, a Misra Ka Kaladar? <laughs> <laughs> Faden. Faden is a name that I used very recently for a different character that you have not met. Oh, that's awkward. Should I change the last name real quick? <laughs> no, it's fine. It works. Faden. Oh. That's that's a good family. Are you magical? Yes. It runs in your family. Welcome to Elidore and Londar and Nero. Welcome home. Thank you. I'm 
I'm gonna ask you some questions about that later, but <laughs> later. <laughs> sure, of course. What do you mean by home, Paladin? She's a half elf. This is her ancestral home. I guess. <laughs> I suppose that explains why I slept so well last night. <laughs> did, did you think he was inviting you all to live here? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, I was like... She means part of this awkward reunion. Yeah. <laughs> or just most of tonight's session in general. Chaos is anything but awkward, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, Which God. is hard for me to do. Um. Well, I my apologies, I guess, for not being able to get to you, but we had quite the travel, unfortunately. Oh, you don't need to apologize. If you came by foot, I'm actually surprised you got here so quickly. Um, What's your name? We were... I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, we were determined. It's well, I was determined. Seraph, so was I, but for different reasons. <laughs> also, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, have you have you heard of what's been happening? happening what do you mean we i the magistrate has been dying two members have been killed over the course of the past month valid and that's what i needed to talk to you about actually we met someone in town and he said that there is um i guess a name out for your father to be assassinated. I'm not terribly surprised. Um, he's safe right now. How do you know he's next? He was the next one in the book. Oh, the book? You should give context in that, Ilya. Do, do one of you still have the book? Mm -mm. So Shit, we I don't, don't think we it. gave it back to him. I didn't think uh, we did. Which one of you was holding it? I, um, I think was... I was, actually. Uh, no, Seraph would have been the last one. She was looking through it for her, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, she's okay. talking about it. If I have it, I will hand it over. When you go to look for it, you don't find it anywhere. It oh. appears at some point on your trip up here, it disappeared. Oh, because it do that. The scene quickly flashes back over to the bar. <laughs> wow, that thing really does follow you everywhere you go. Yeah, it can't get rid of it. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Stupid dumb hot idiot. Well... So, what was the clan's name again? Uh, Order of the Basilisk. Order of the Basilisk, I guess, has a hit out on him. This guy, he killed one of its members, and he essentially got the book. And now, the next person in the list that hasn't been crossed out yet is your father. Interesting. Do you have this book? I do not. I was really uncomfortable bringing a guy who is a part of the organization uh, here to where your father potentially would be. Did he He's say not really part of the organization, but he killed one of its members and I guess is now a part of it. Where is he now? He's in town at the inn that we're staying in. Oh, that so is Xander. Needed. He's also with us. Yeah. Xander? Yeah. 
So you generally travel in a party of four? Generally, mm. yes. As of right now. Well, there is a, a, a fifth of us, but he's gone, gone searching for something, potentially. I mean, technically, there's a seventh of us also, but she hasn't gone for a while. And, like, what about me, man? Oh, you're more of a oh, no. shrub than a person. <laughs> oh my god, shut the hell up, you shrub. <laughs> Is that in character? Yes. I just imagine that his head, like, afro pokes through your backpack as he says that. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me, man? Being, um, yes, it is just the form. Because you're a shrub. <laughs> Valadin's just kind of watching this with the shrub, confused. For for the time being, yes, it's just the four of us. This shrub is not a part. Yeah, I am. I help Ellie you and your friends. <laughs> Baladin kind of raises his eyebrow at the word fights. Here the DM is RPing with himself. Watches gets weirder and weirder. Oh, but I do it all the time. It'll be okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, pull Hedgeward out for a second and just be like, hey, we need some, we need some adult time right now. <laughs> and okay. then put it back in the thing and cover it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. And I wish you could do that with children. <laughs> you can, it's just well, frowned I'm upon. Just at work. Shh. Any time with the adults puts a napkin over their head. I believe it's it's it's, it's a the, the product's called nap time. That's a socially acceptable way of putting that. It's just chloroform in a bottle. Are you are you hungry? We can have food prepared. I mean, yeah, I I would just enjoy that. Eight, but okay. Is there a way we can... What did you say this guy's name was? Uh, Xander... Well, which guy? The one with the book. Ah, that one. Right. Chaos. Tiefling? Yes. Okay. Is there... Is there a way you can bring him here? Can you contact him? I mean, we would have to go get Xander. I can go get him and bring them both back. Um, yeah, go, uh, if, um, this is Steven struggling, not Validin, for the record. Yes, we can... Yeah. One of Validin's up. guards go with her? Like... Head up the west gate. Um, over there you'll see a stable of peritons. Um, tell them, and he says an elvish word, um, and they'll, they'll do whatever you say. Uh, we can send the peritons down to get them up here really, really quick. Do I get to ride the periton? Yes. Good sir, you have just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam, I love all animals, hi pal. <laughs> Except for birds. Oh wait, it's shit. A it's a bird! Fuck, shit! <laughs> uh, it's sort of a bird. It has the head of an elk. Uh, in Probably Cali, in general, there is, there is what it is. Mm-hmm. Is it mm. still mostly bird? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Miriam shouldn't go. <laughs> Who wants to see Miriam have an anxiety attack on the back of a Parrington? I mean, it should be a short ride. Yeah. She will go and ride hesitantly. 
<laughs> once she gets there and she realizes what it is. There's nothing really hesitant about it once you get on. It is fast. And going down, it is even faster. It's almost a straight dive through the branches as it dodges and weaves through branches and walkways down to the ground. And it is basically seconds before the periton you're on with the elf you're riding with and the two that were following land in front of the inn that you named. I'll go in there and get them, I guess. Yeah, and they can they can board the peritons, and it's almost as quick going up. Not quite as quick. Gravity's real fast, but almost as quick. All right. In the time at the the bar where I'm just kind of hanging out with chaos, uh, can I have a cast of detect magic to try to figure out what school? Uh, of yeah, magic I totally to... meant to look that up. Yeah. All right. I tried, and the source that I'm stealing this from shamelessly does not have it listed. Okay. So now I have to do the thing where I look up the schools of magic D&D &D so I don't accidentally say the wrong one. Fuck you, magic. That's what it is. I'm thinking it's probably... I don't know what arcane mark is. I think that's... The D&D &D equivalent of alteration? Yeah, I think it's alteration. It's necromancy. Necromancy. Oh. It's not. I'm lying. Oh. Okay. I was about to say, I'm going to need to take a look at that book. <laughs> I'm 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 almost positive it's gonna be alteration, but I just wanna be Or enchantment. I guess it could be enchantment. I would I, I would be worried if it was divination. That would be a red flag. What, hits put out by God? What could possibly go wrong? Well no, given <laughs> given Divination would mean that there's the possibility that they might be able to, like, remote view through the book. Kurt. Um, you actually get two. You get divination and conservation. Okay. So, that's, again, that's, that could be really, really bad. Okay. It's fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll ride giant bird elk up. Mm -hmm. These these peritons, if anybody is familiar with what peritons are, uh, normally peritons have like a giant beak to rend flesh. These are not that. Their elk, their head is much more elk-like. Interesting. Their elk is much more head-like. Mm -hmm. uh, but this leaves Seraph and Ilya and Valadin alone in a room, walking to a dining room together. Can't imagine anything I would hate more. Um, I'm sure that's not awkward at all. Yeah, even if you guys don't say anything, I just wanted everybody to picture that. Oh, no, yeah, I've been picturing it. <laughs> <laughs> we get up to the top of the, oh, yeah. the um, tree and... Um, not yet, you don't, because okay. uh, Valadin's going to look over at Ilya. So, mm -hmm. girlfriend? Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Yeah? Is she's just going to stop and turn to Seraph and ask if oh. they could have a minute? Uh, yeah. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to turn to Valadin and just be like, can she kind of explore... Of course. I'm going to walk backwards for as long as I can keep eye contact with them as awkwardly as possible, and then wave as soon as I get around a corner. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ellie's just going to keep walking forward. Oh hey my now. god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ash wrote that for a second. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That doesn't actually happen. I just wanted Ash's reaction. <laughs> um. So I guess Ilya's just gonna awkwardly start walking again, and just feel like I'm. It wasn't something that I felt like I could bring up 
when we last saw each other. Yeah, that was, so that was when we, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how I'm feeling at this moment when it comes to everything, I suppose. I know how I feel about you. I just don't know how that's incorporated with the rest of my life. I mean, you seem to have found yourself a life as an adventurer, and I'm kind of stuck here. What do you mean by stuck? I'm next in line. If my father dies, I'm, I'm the one. I join the magistrate. Does that mean you can never leave? It means I have duties and responsibilities here. I can leave occasionally, sure, but I have to live here. Okay. Ilya's just gonna, like, look down and away. You can stay here if you want. I'm not sure how that would work with Seraph, but... The invitation's there. I... Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> <laughs> can I get a rain check on this awkward conversation? I... I'm sorry, I just... I know I've only been with them for... Like, eight months, has it been? Since I've seen you in person? I'm sorry, I had a real bad ADD moment there. Can you say that again? <laughs> Just straight up, my brain was like, hey, look at this shiny thing. Oh my god. Um, I was just like, it's been, what, eight months since I've seen you? I mean... In person, at least. Yeah, about. I mean, that's pretty much how long I've been with them. And I, they're like a family now. I, I don't know if I can leave them. That's understandable. I'm not asking you to choose right now. The, I mean, even if you say no, the invitation will be there. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for not bringing this up sooner. I know I should have. <laughs> I just, I don't want to lose you. And I know that the past nine years just I would be nothing without you. Nothing's going to make that disappear. Are you sure? Yeah. Valid, and I told you what happened in Boston. You told me what you think happened in Boston. Well, we have a strong idea of what happened. No one could remember the town. Everyone was gone. I'm talking about your family. Well, yeah. I don't even know if they're alive. They're probably not. They are. 
What? <laughs> They're alive. Your fam your family is alive. Wait, is this you saying this, Stephen, or him? Him. How do you know my family's alive? When you talked about them, I became curious, and I have resources, so I looked into it. Well, what did you find out? Doop doop, open up a new tab. Don't mind me not stalling for time at all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As a note on our, our flight up, I do change my outfit into the like blue noble outfit I wore to the winner's feast thing. Yeah. I guess it was green, so it's the, the green one. <laughs> also, I looked at that Snapchat that Steven sent, and it was immediately upset by it. As you should be. Because it looks very, very good. I haven't eaten all day, and I'm high. I am so hungry right now. <laughs> oh my god. Do I need to cut that I'm out really of the video? Dead. Hold on. Do you need to what? Do I need to cut that out of the video? Oh, I don't care. If you care, then yes, I don't care. No, I don't care. Uh, Valentin says, Well, I sent scouts to Valston. And... I assume you know what we found, but they started asking around, and there were refugees that left by foot going south to Min Fadlak, and we heard of two ships that went north trying to make it to Port Prosperity, but those weren't it. There was another ship that went west and south. Where they went, I don't know. But I know who was on that ship, and your family was listed. Is that all you know? Uh, yes, that's all I know. I have the copies of the ship's manifest of everyone who was on it. I can get you a set. Please. I, Yeah, I really want that. Of course. I kind of lost hope on them. Of course. Yeah, I'll I'll have it available uh, at some point during dinner, at which point you guys are now in the dining room. Um, it's basically what you would expect from a very high-ranking noble's dining room. Very, very long table. You're not going to be using all of it at all. Um, and it's just you two and a few servants that are milling about setting up the area. Seraph is somewhere off in this mansion causing some sort of trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, Stephen, I meant to send you a whisper about that. <laughs> uh, and at this point, the other two will probably, like, be back in the building. <laughs> well, all right, well, we're here. It's a lot of, like uh, guards at the giant bird area. I mean, yeah, Just they'll pull. they'll take the birds from you and yeah. I'm assuming they'll somebody will point us in the right direction. Yep. Yeah, we'll just uh, head that way with chaos in tow. Man, I never flew on anything like that before. That was wild. Yeah, I never want to do that again. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, I, w I want to do that again. Yeah, that's the same thing. Hey, can good. I ride that back down? 
he asks a guard as he walks by, and the guard just doesn't say anything. Oh, okay. No more birds. No thanks. I don't get paid to talk, I guess. I don't even know if they get paid. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know either. I just try to adopt the style of where I'm at so people don't stare at me, although these horns kind of get in the way of that sometimes. Tell me, brother. Yeah, I have sort of a glamour on my armor. It helps me uh, blend in a little better, but it's taking up a portion of the screen. He's giant. <laughs> yeah, they're the two new NPCs of the week. NPC of the week! Week. Oh my god. Week. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep going. Yeah, this, this when place you get back inside like the shit. building, you basically, like... This place does make Damaro look like shit. Uh, yeah, Sarah, if that's, that, that's fine. You can do okay. that. Okay. Um, make sure you put the adjective there. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, when you guys get back inside the building, you basically run straight into Seraph. Oh. Uh, He's totally just standing there. Where's, uh... Where's Ilya? I don't know. I was asked to wait. Okay. Oh, we should probably go find them then. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't asked to wait. Fuck you. Stay here. Yeah, I'll see you guys when you get back. Uh, Just... no. You're going to come no. with us. I was asked to wait. Yeah, that's cool. We're telling you you don't have to anymore. Who Bye. asked you to wait? I'll wait here. Not a suggestion. Go ahead. Aw, oh, Ilya's sad. Or, Ilya. Seraph, sad. I'm gonna stay with Seraph for a bit. I'll go, f I'll go find them. I know where they were vaguely last time. I, I'll go with her? Yeah, she... Yeah. No? Yep, okay. Come on, Chaos. Alright. Let's go. Uh, when the other two are gone, so how'd it go? Uh, I imagine the fun parts I'm missing out on currently, so couldn't tell you. Interesting. Are you okay? Uh, I mean, I expected this. Maybe not exactly this, but something very similar to this. Is he a giant douche? That's kind of what no, I envisioned. I'm, of course he is. Yeah, he go could figure. Be handing out free ice cream, and I'd rather shoot him in the face. Fucking nobles, am I right? <clears throat> yeah, I suppose so. If you want, we can figure out where his vault is and just fucking rob him blind. Uh, I pull the fork I just stole out of my purse and be like, way ahead of you, and put it back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, and it's not long for Miriam and Chaos to find the dining room. It's the room with the big doors open with the giant table in the center of it. Uh, next to the table, uh, Valadin and Ilya are talking. Oh, we should go back and get them. Now that we know where we're going. Yeah, I'm, I, well, I, can I just, like, Go talk to- he's right there. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, he's the whole reason I'm here. Yeah, I know. Just give him a minute. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, sure. sure. Just, just a second. We'll get to you, I promise. His dad! Fine. Yeah, we told him, don't worry. Yeah, he's going to follow you back to the other two. Just like mumbling under his breath a little bit. We're going to wait for them to finish their thing. Yeah. <laughs> we can just talk now, because they're not talking. <laughs> Vada Kedavra. I don't know, do I have a spell that'll cheer you up? Is that a thing? Is there a verbal component to power word 
death. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there is. There is. That, that's what it is. Yep. Yeah. Now, I'm... I, I don't know what how to feel yet. Let's put it that way. It's less sad, more in... Limbo. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I don't think I ever will. Well... If you want to talk about it... I mean, I'm here for you. I mean, you're my friend, so... We'll probably have a chance later tonight, after I figured some things out. Yeah. And then I guess we just wait for the other two to get back? Yeah. We found them! Yeah, we, we found so them. We They're in the dining room. It's the only room down there with the doors open. Uh, Miriam, I wasn't curious where they were. I was wondering whether or not it was okay for me to come back. Ah, that's why I came back for you. Because they said to come get us? Yeah. <laughs> Good Fucking on. make a deception check. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> damn. I have, I have no reason not to follow them back. I mean, it's against your insight. Oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't bet on that, but we'll find out. There's at least a 5% chance of maybe being well, yeah, equal but to it. It's going to be a 7, right? It's always a 7. 7. <laughs> 10. 10. Oh. 10. I was right, there was a 5% chance. It's yeah. way better than 7. I don't know about way better. <laughs> it is perfectly average. Yeah. Yeah, That's what she said? If they said it was time, go back. I will lead them all to the dining room. Yep. When you get there, Ilya and Valadin are still kind of talking. And when they is there, notice you walk through the... Oh, go ahead. Is there food on the table? Not yet. Okay. Um, and when they notice you walk through the door. I hate doing this, but I'm going to fucking have to. Um, <laughs> Valen looks through and uh, notices a new tiefling. He says, you must be Chaos. Yeah, that's that's who I am. Uh, I have this book that you might be interested in. It sort of foretells at least an assassination attempt against your father. Yeah, they filled me in uh can i see the book yeah of course and hands over the book ballad and looks through it the dm rps with himself all the players have to stay silent and just watch i'm living for it <laughs> Xander's gonna elbow seraph think they'll have some chicken you can hide in that purse oh honey if they did it would already be in the purse hmm hate you both. Uh, I would like to put Crow on the ground and use his ability to have advantage on smell checks for chicken. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, Valadin looks through and asks, do you know what the initials are I, th I think that's sort of like the assassin signing it uh, TR kind of stopped showing up after I got the book valid and I'll like flip back and find TR and just kind of think and get a little lost in thought I don't know enough information as my character to ask the question yeah, I want on. to ask. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, having looked at it earlier, were there initials next to the name that's currently on there? Nope. Okay. Just against the uh, next to the ones that were crossed out. Just sort of standard, standing in the doorway awkwardly with Seraph. <laughs> 
kind of ad- admiring the grandiosity that is this room. Uh, after a little bit of an uncomfortable pause where Chaos is kind of shuffling back from foot to foot and Baladin is just completely still, uh, Baladin will kind of snap out of it and look up and say, oh, please, please, have a seat. And he'll just kind of pull, a, not at the head of the table, just a random seat for himself and sit down. And Chaos will sit down next to him. Sit down. Yeah, I'm going to take the furthest seat from Valid and I can. <laughs> that would be like 20 feet away. Yup, you heard me. <laughs> Seraph petties Aldari. Um. I'll sit next to Seraph. I'll sit next to Xander. <laughs> I don't know. Ellie is obviously uh, like a table from Valadin. I mean, at, at that point, Valadin and Chaos will kind of share a puzzled look and then move over to the other end of the table where everyone else is and sit across <laughs> the table from them. It was a draft. <laughs> sure, there was. It's a nice place you got here. Thank, thank you. I, uh, it's been in our family for generations. Are they both still looking at the book? Uh, it's kind of just sitting between them at the moment. So, what do you think you can find out about the book? I... I don't know. What do you know about the book, Chaos? And Chaos will explain what you guys already know. It reappears next to him when it gets too far away. It... Uh... It just lists a name, and when that person is killed, the name is grassed out, and initials show up next to it. Um, and that's that's pretty much all Chaos knows. Uh, he goes to explain a little bit, saying that uh, as he's looked through, he's only noticed 11 current, well, yeah, 11 current different initials. Uh, nothing more than that. And whenever one disappears, it isn't long before another one shows up. High turnover rate. Well, yeah, assassins, they, uh, they tend to live a dangerous life. Mm. Fair. I mean, you can't just go around killing people without expecting to be killed. Then you're just, like, leans over to Seraph. So that's the guy? What? Huh? So that that's the guy. The what's the guy? Who's the guy? The, the elf guy. The elf. I'm so lost right now. This is valid, and yes. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Is that what the question was? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's him. Okay. He can hear us too. That's the best part. Uh. <laughs> Get her. I, I wasn't here for introductions. I'm. I'm sorry. That's that's totally on me. Yeah. Um, no, it's yeah, valid and. Paladin, cool. this is Xander Miller. Hello, Xander. Hi. Uh, do you like noble jazz? <laughs> do you jazz? like jazz? Oh <laughs> sorry, sorry, Travis. I had to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, I guess there's some assassins that might be coming after your dad. Maybe. I uh, yeah, there were two other assassinations in Elidore among the magistrate. It seems like someone wants new leadership. Can I see the book? 
Sure. Hands over the book to you. I'll put it on the table. I'll look through the last couple names in the list. What were their names? I forgot to. Whew, I forgot to mute myself for that one. Might be. <laughs> um. Why is Elmer a name that shows up on this name generator? Uh, you don't have to generate <laughs> names. I just I want to know if if those names are in the book. Oh yeah, they're in the if book. They match. So it looks like whoever's conscripted this group to kill your father is also knocked out other members using the same thing. Are they signed with the same initials? Yep. What are those initials? They are PT. PT. Playable teaser. Teaser, yep. <laughs> Have the same <laughs> Well, Is there anyone that you know of in the area with those initials? I mean, I could name off probably a dozen. And then he does. <laughs> Great. I mean, what does this mean then? Do you know anything about how they were killed or where they were? When the bodies were found. Okay, cool. I'm not muted. When the bodies were found, they had some sort of puncture wounds in them with a sort of purple bioluminescent magical thing. Almost like a spider web, but twisted and weird emanating from the wounds across their bodies. Is that Chaos or Valadin speaking? Valadin. Okay. I don't know with my background if... Does it sound like a poison? Like a, maybe like a type of poison that I've, I've heard of before? Or... It should sound like something to one of you. Oh, it definitely does. Okay. Uh, I was I was kind of waiting to see if Chaos had thoughts about what he just said. Uh, it does not sound like a poison. Um, it's definitely like magical in nature. Wait, when they found the names, when they found the the Zeldaris in the journal, is it had the same initials? We, we did, did not find, find the Zeldaris in the journal. Oh, you did not. Yeah. Okay. yeah. She wrote like an eleven. Yeah, it was Seraph got like caught up in her head or something. Interesting. I mean, there's a lot of names um, in this thing, so. It is a very big over. book. A book? Book. Nah, that. Uh. I mean, that's familiar with all the other victims of this TS. I've never run into whoever they are. Oh, hold on. This is. This. You, you've seen this before? Yeah. He flips the, the book a few pages back. Haley Star, right here. T.S. Her body had wounds that match that description. I never even saw it coming. I was just standing there and she fell. Do you know what could have made those wounds? I heard a gunshot, but didn't see a thing. Interesting. I'm immediately just gonna look at fucking what's his face. Uh, Hold on, you know chaos? you you know a lot about firearms, chaos. right? Yeah, I do know about firearms. Yes, it seems to be a sort of preferred weapon among these assassins. So, the the weapon itself, do you think it was similar to the ones that you used? I think they make different noise, right, based on what the what kind of yeah. weapon they are. Uh, they all make pretty much the same noise. Mm. It's a loud bang. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds it, like, and he pulls out a gun and shoots it, and he doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm no trying to think because I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to to narrow down objects. That's I know where your head's at, thinking that like different calibers of guns sound yeah. different, but 
yeah in this like it, yeah. every gun essentially just, yeah. is custom made by its user yeah because i'm thinking if it was like a rifle like like he doesn't have a rifle and that if there was one within a thousand feet i could use locate object on it but that doesn't help hey chaos do you you've looked over this book a few times i assume more than i care to admit um all of the assassinations done by this name how far back do they go this is the one set of initials that goes back as far as the book goes. Does the name Zeldari ring a bell to you? Yeah. Is and it... he'll take the book back from you. And he'll flip back to pretty close to the beginning. Um, and he'll hand it back and it's your father's name. Initialed with P.T. Just his name? Just his. Fuck. Yeah, sometimes PT likes to uh, go the extra mile. I hate that I'm saying this at this moment. Uh, Baladin, could you and I have a talk? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Uh, we'll be right back. And I'm going to pull him into a hallway somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably just like. Bottle and just fucking cold it close. One more Wait, time? What? Yeah. Ellie's just going to find the closest wine bottle and hold it close to her body. A <laughs> <laughs> mood. Yeah, what. You're just off in like a little corner of like a servant's room off to the side okay what mm. can i help you with a few things first of all i'm upset with you for a multitude of reasons we'll get to those in a minute secondly whoever is going to possibly attack your father may have killed my parents and that kind of puts me in a position where i want to make sure that doesn't happen for you because i've been through that despite the fact that I'd rather you were on fire than having this conversation with me. Um, also, I feel the more I help you, the closer I get to answers I need for myself. You can just ask. Can I keep watch on your father? Is that a thing you could manage? He's He's visibly thinking right now. I can, if you want to help, yes, I can, I can put you on the guard roster. I would like that, yes. Um, secondly, just uh, out of my own personal curiosity, you and Ilya escaped from a gladiator pit where you fought for your lives on the daily basis, fell in love, and then you immediately separated the second you got out of there? We had time together. Not what I meant. I meant you left her alone, idiot. It, it wasn't immediate, and it wasn't easy, but I hadn't seen my parents in years, or my family, or my home, and she felt the same way. The plan was to meet up after essentially checking in with our families, but... Then Boston City happened. Hmm. Okay. And then I like I do the thing where I point at my own eyeballs and then I point at his eyeballs and I just walk backwards into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Grand. Oh my god. Alright, so how are we gonna get out of here if she comes back and like covered in blood? Like what do we <laughs> Oh hey? <laughs> Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, oh, hey, Seraph. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, I just sit back down. I go, we're good. Elliot just, like, looks wide-eyed at Seraph, like, what? <laughs> we can talk about it tonight. Elliot just nods silently and fucking 
drinks out of the bottle. <laughs> This is like an awkward he's meeting your parents for the first time. I'm glad it kinda has that energy. Duh. <laughs> I mean Miriam and Xander are here. He technically is. <laughs> so I guess we're staying here for the night then? I mean, we're gonna have to, I I suppose, right? That inn was so nice though. Have Think you about seen how much place? better the beds will be here. What? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you took that somewhere. It didn't need to go to. <laughs> oh no, I was commenting on the beds, not on your activities inside of them. <laughs> well, you have to cut it open and crawl inside, not like on top. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, the dinner's a bit awkward and somber now, and conversation is probably at a minimal with Seraph at least having initials of who killed her parents, and Seraph and Valadin having this weird moment. So maybe it's <laughs> not really our forte as a group of intrepid adventurers. Uh, but I mean, like, if you've got guard rotations on your father, uh, obviously he has been fearing an assassination before you got confirmation for that. Uh, I mean, I can try to stay up. I mean, I got not elf, so I gotta sleep, but I can try to help. Elves sort of sleep. Yeah, but like, it's not a as strange thing. long. <laughs> That's fair. Um, Seraph has already offered to join the guard duty. I don't see why I shouldn't trust all of you. Although I have special reason to trust her. Fair. Uh, I yeah, mean, if, if you can... you're uncomfortable with that, um, I could wander the streets and try to get more information on this intrepid assassin, but I doubt I'm going to pull much information. It's up to you. I can have you on the guard duty, or... Or you can... Try to search things out for your own. It might pay to have... A non-elf. Uh... Look. Yeah, I mean, like... A different perspective. Uh, yeah, uh, probably guard duty for now. I don't know how fast these things usually strike, but I'd like to be nearby if anything dangerous occurs. Oh, PT is a professional. I'm honestly a little surprised I got here in time. It's probably soon. Maybe. Maybe the extra guard duty has been keeping her, keeping her at bay. I have a I have a question about Valadin. I have an answer. As I oh. as as we've been eating dinner, does he wear any rings or a necklace that's very distinctive? Uh <laughs> nothing like that, but he has a sword on his side that is very decorated that is very distinctive. Yeah, I would like to try to memorize the sword as best I can through the evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. For later location-based services? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. In case I need to find him later. In a hurry, I can do so. I'm going to actually mark that on my character sheet.
I'm gonna be right back. My wife is here. Oh, okay. I was about to ask some very awkward questions of yeah, the sorry. guy. I'm considering if I want to ask my question here or not. Hmm. Like if I want to ask it in front of everyone or not. You should. <laughs> Do it. I should. You should. I really should. Should is a strange Cause word. the drama. Is it the should question is a you, you whispered me about? Uh, no. Actually, my, my understanding is that Seraph found both of her parents dead. Yes, she did find yeah. both of her parents dead, but only her dad's name in the book. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said Yeah, but, but what he said was PT goes above and beyond yeah. to, like, finish the job. What did, right. what, what did your, what is your... My assumption of that is, like, he just went ahead and killed your mother also, even though she wasn't in the book. What did your father do? Do you remember? What is what? Hmm? Huh? Like, what did, what did your father, father do? do? Like, my, like for work? My father was a sailor, and it is not something that made him particularly famous. My mother did a mis mysterious kind of, like, underhanded way of getting rich that I don't know the specifics of. So if anyone I thought damn you it. Know were murdered. Yep, Travis, I think that just answered that for us. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because it wouldn't have been... Plus, she, she was the one holding the necklace, too. I don't know. I, I see your line of thinking. I just, I don't, I, I can't see reason for... Oh... Are you whispering to each other? Yeah. I just had a thought. The DM is left out and is sad. I'm gonna whisper this to Lakin and then I'll whisper it to Steven, but... The DM is confused about what's happening in his own game. Travis and I are confused. scheming. He's talking in third person. I was, I was giving them out of character information about what happened to my parents. Oh, heard. Which might be in character information if you talked about it in the past. I'm okay with metaing that if that's the thing you would have done. Seraph told at least Miriam and Xander what had happened. I think she also told Ilya and Aiden. I, I mean, I definitely would have spoken about it to Miriam and uh, Ilya because they're the ones I told about the necklace initially. So I just would have given yeah. them all the information right then. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was outside of the tent, right? Like uh, outside the cart when right after the monster thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's fair to assume that that's public information. Dad was a sailor. Mom did mysterious jobs, making lots of money. Lord only knows what. She was a whore. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I I, I that... I've sensed even my thoughts on this, but I'm not gonna say anything in character. Yeah, I'm not either. Is this like a later bedroom conversation you two are going to have? Probably. Probably, before I go to guard shift duty. I just realized your horses are going to have to stay at that stable on the ground. They can't come up here. No, they can't. Well, I mean, I mean mine can fuck off and it. go do whatever he wants. I can summon him. <laughs> we wake up die. in the morning to news of a random horse rampaging through the city. <laughs> I, just, I just let him do what he wants. He's fine. Um. So, Valadin, um, our group has acquired some land outside Griffin Rest, and uh, I'm kind of new to this whole like being in charge of shit thing. I don't know. Maybe some pointers you could give me as somebody who's like actually nobility. The one piece of advice I would give you is be good to your people and they'll be good to you. And that's why we built the tavern first. <laughs> if you lot kept Ilya alive through what happened in Alimora, I'm fine with all of you 
Oh, I guess. Regarding my father. Ilya told you about the beast we slayed there. I got news of it. Yeah. Oof, man, that was. That Is was that fun. a beast? <laughs> God damn it. Is that a beast? There's a beast? <laughs> Sorry, Travis. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was a, a very interesting situation. I suppose if uh, we're done for dinner, uh, if we're staying here tonight, you could just point us in the direction so I could change and get ready for uh, guard duty, I suppose. Yeah, the bedrooms are a floor down. Sure. Uh, my father is kept further down. If you just... Take this crest and he hands out a crest to each of you that can you can pin to whatever clock thing near your collar you want. Just put it on my cloak of Elven kind. They'll let you pass. It's of a Perryton's head, whose antlers turn into tree branches. Okay. Yeah, I'll go to the room. And then, like, I guess I'll throw, like, my bag down and then just glamour my armor back to armor. So who's taking first watch? Who's taking second? I mean, I can take second. I'll take first. I thought we were going to do in sets of two. Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, then I'll also take second. <laughs> <laughs> I will join you, Sarah, for whatever, whichever shift you want to have. Well, what time is it when we're all meeting up? That's a question to Steven. Uh, I mean, if you're wanting to watch through the night, probably like 9 p.m.-ish. Well, I mean, that's about the time he would be going to bed for us to begin watching over him. Uh, he's kind of... The, the impression you've gotten so far is he's kind of quarantining himself to a room. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. About 9, so that's... Eight hours from nine o'clock. Yeah, well, I would like to take the first shift then. Before we get started, can we have someone have confirmation of life? Oh yeah. Yeah, not bad sure. idea. Like we don't need to necessarily see him, but at least his son needs to verify that he's alive before we start guarding. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ellie and I will take first watch then. Sure, it means I can take a nap. Always go for a nap. Actually, Valadin, can I speak with you before we go? Uh, yeah. Valadin has now had a private conversation with everyone except for Xander. <laughs> I'm not one for Head private room. conversations. <laughs> Bullshit. How mad would they be if I summoned a horse in the middle of their palace? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sits down in the middle of the dining room table. There's just a fucking horse. <laughs> if, Seraph, <sighs> if Seraph sees him starting chaos, there's no chance in hell I'm not joining in on it immediately. Oh. <laughs> no, that'll be before we leave. Uh, yeah, Valadin and Miriam are now kind of off, separated. I will, I will whisper you this stuff so that people can do other things. Uh, I guess you probably don't really want me watching your dad so close, but I'm gonna... I'd like to stay up here if I can, just in case. Not near him, but watching points of entry, things like that. Yeah, Stephen, how many entrances are there to the room that Valadin's father's staying in? Uh, to that room, just one. Okay. Well, one, like, entrance that you would use as an actual entrance, and there's, uh... Windows? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chaos, actually, if you want to join us on first watch, you could watch the windows while we watch the door. Uh. Because I imagine if someone's on the roof trying to get in through the windows, you've got a better chance at a range to hit them with a gun than I do with my stuff, so. Fair point. I don't want to... Valadin said that, like, y'all were trustworthy because you've been through Alamora together and you kept 
Ilya alive. I, I'm not included in that, and I don't want to. Look, I know how this looks. I don't want to ask to be put that close to a man that died from a gunshot wound when I use guns and have a book. I'm I'm fine up here. Uh. I also wasn't given a crest, so I feel like I'm not I mean, allowed. We have enough of those to go around if it came to that. I mean, there's one for each of you. And only two of us will be on watch at any given point. I mean, I, I guess I can come down if no you pressure. Guys don't stop. I just, I feel weird about it. That's fine. It was just a thought. I need to type out a response to Lakin. Chuck is writing an essay. Tatum. <laughs> it's essay, it's not me. My keyboard's not that loud. Oh, well, <laughs> everyone is doing stuff. Uh, I'm going to go to... I guess the room that's assigned. Um, and I guess I'm just going to say a prayer to Alder. Yeah. For guidance, protection, to help me find this, this villain. I have the book of dead people and these like two guns and I'm beginning to think this plan was a very well thought out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Chaos, if you don't want to be lonely tonight, I, I may have something that could help you. And then I take the shrub out of my thing and I hand it over to Chaos. Oh my god. Why are you handing me a plant? He'll be hey. company. Like, I'm, I'm more than just a plant, man. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. This plan can yeah. talk. He can. I want you to teach him that accent while you have him tonight, if I possible. <laughs> Miriam, did you get thing? Yeah, I'm. I'm writing. Okay. It doesn't have to be private. We could just say it out loud. Oh, it's fine. This is only half of Chaos's accent. Anyone who's watching the video is very confused why we're not actually progressing the story right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck, okay. Miriam to Validin. You mentioned magic running in my family. Could you elaborate on that for me? Validin to Miriam. Just that you came from a family of seers. The elves in your family had a talent for seeing the future. I assume your magic is similar? No, I wasn't born with my magic. I wasn't even aware that anybody in my family had ever had it. Oh. What magic skills do you have? A, uh... It's gonna sound really weird, and I promise it's not a lie. Uh, a phoenix gave me my magic. So, fire? Primarily. Have you died yet? Do you have the other phoenix gift? I've almost died. Hmm. Interesting. Phoenixes are pretty rare. How did this happen? God damn it, Sarah. Pretty much right after dinner, like I took my leave, so sorry, I can't get your purse chicken. Sorry, Steven, can you repeat what you just said? Uh, it was valid in asking if you had the other gift of the phoenix, and you said you almost died, and you just said, hmm, I think. Oh, he said something about. How did I come across Phoenix? Oh yes, Phoenixes are rare. How did how did you 
How did this happen? Are you familiar with the the sort of deserted areas outside of Kajala, near the Shimmering Lake? The Savannah? Yeah. It was out there. We were leaving our home. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Is it? As much as it can. The, the Southlands tend to be more primal that I would I would expect a phoenix in the southern hemisphere before I would expect one here. I suppose that makes sense. I don't suppose you have a library here where I could do a bit of poking around. Uh yeah, it's two floors down. Perfect. How far how far back did the magic of my family go? Quite a ways. At least three generations that I know of off the top of my head. I'm not sure about your mother, but her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother all provided services as seers. <laughs> the longer Tatum keeps typing and nothing pops up, the more I'm wondering if she's writing an extended breakup letter to Sarah. Oh, I'm writing down things. <laughs> Notes of... Yeah. Everything that's going on. You can yep. just see me write my notes, like, in real time in the videos. Pen and paper over here. Head. Do you know if any of my, well, if any of them are still alive? I believe your grandmother is. And what was her name? Yeah. Yeah, Stephen, what was her name? Yeah, Stephen, what was her name? Alanis. I don't suppose she's here. Oh no, she's not here. And I'm assuming you probably don't know where she is. Last I knew... No, I don't, I don't know where she is. I'm just gonna wrench on that immediately. I don't know where she is. Thank you. Um, this is all brand news for me. Okay. I'm sorry you never had a chance to know your family. Yeah. <laughs> Hadn't considered that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Things Miriam never thought about before. Now, <laughs> one more thing to add to her trauma list. We're all getting a taste today. <laughs> Steven made me think I was going to be safe tonight. Wait, I need to get Travis trauma somehow. Uh, 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 Aldar falls from the sky, dead. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on, that has that so many implications. <laughs> that would also scar Ilya. Let's just... Miriam would laugh. Oh my god. A fallen god, okay. <laughs> That's what they get. This must be Tuesday. Ivory tower ass <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, so then... Yeah, eventually, uh, yeah, I'll thank him and then eventually make my way back to the room. Yeah. Um, as you leave, you see Valadin and Chaos. Uh, you see Valadin motion for Chaos to come closer and they walk off in one direction together.
back up towards the office where you first met Baladin, all of you except for Travis. Mary, I'm not going to take the first chicken. You said not going to take it? No. More for us. <laughs> so we've agreed then. We'll take first shift. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you two will be first shift, and the other two will be second. Okay. So Travis actually gets time to sleep. Yeah. Damn, being a human boy. I mean, to be fair, Miriam also has to sleep. All of you have to sleep to some degree, right? Yeah, yeah. to some degree. I think the only person I mean... with less sleep is Miriam. I think she has trance. No, I don't. Yeah, then we all have happen. to sleep normal amount. I just, I only need to sleep the normal amount. I don't have to, like, long rests don't even do anything for me. I can take a short rest and be fine. Same. Oh shit, I was gonna go to the library. Mm. Do no, I need like, sleep? To, to avoid fatigue. Like, you, you need to like, <laughs> sleep to avoid fatigue. Miriam has After, fallen yeah. asleep in a library before. After my work experience yesterday, yes, you need sleep. Miriam slept in a what library is that? before. Literally in this campaign, she slept in a library like in the first session. This is true. Nobody here was there. <laughs> was. Who? Travis was. Xander may not have been, but Travis None was. None of our characters were. I know. We just need to replace Miriam, get Miriam killed, and then we'll be an entirely different party than we first started with. We're not we're not turning this into a ship of Theseus. Well, I'm not gonna say that because then Miriam will feel invincible. Theseus is in <laughs> Oh, it's too late. She already does. Balad just Baladin just asked her if she can even die, and she was like, "Well, shit, can I?" Oh, <laughs> that's something I need to test out. Quick, Xander, stab me. Miriam jumps off the fucking canopy. Uh, yeah, no, actually, Miriam's gonna go to the library for a little bit first. Okay. Trying to find information on Phoenix thing. Yeah. Uh, and Waldo? potentially any anything on her family. Oh yeah, you can find family records. That's a that's an easy thing. It's like Ancestry.com in that library. Oh yeah. Ancestry for elves. <laughs> that is very much a thing that one of the five magistrates would have in their library. Good. Anyways, yeah, she'll do that for a little bit. Probably fall asleep in the library. So, as we're watching over the rooms, I imagine there's not, like, an actual place to, like, watch from. We're effectively just standing in a hallway. Uh, effectively, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, this building kind of gets narrower and narrower as it goes down. So there's really not much of a hallway in this spot. Um... It's more of just like a landing for the staircase and then the door to this chamber area, uh, which actually consists of a couple of floors inside. It goes down one more level. Interesting. That's going to be hard to keep track of. Um, but we're outside this room, effectively? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a... The staircase comes down in a spiral in the center of this hallway against one wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and the landing's like wider than it is long. And at each like end of this landing, there's a window to the outside. Okay. Uh, then, uh, as the eight hours pass where we're watching over this, uh, obviously Seraph has words for Ilya. Uh huh. How did your um? I don't even know what to call it. Reunion go. I mean, I found out that my family is most likely alive. No shit. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty heavy on top of all of this already. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking telling me. I just... I don't know anything else other than they left on a certain ship that went to a certain place. And I, we don't know if their whereabouts after that, but 
valid oh, in those that they got out. That's a thing that happened at dinner that I did not circle back to. Do you, know? you, you have that shipping manifest. Um, I have some, it now? Yeah, at uh, some point yeah. during the dinner, uh, one of the servants came by, handed a, a basically a rolled up scroll to Validin, and he just passed it across the table to you. Okay, I'm just going to show her, show Seraph then, and then point to their names. Does anyone else stand out to me on that manifest besides them? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I mean, we know where they went, right? Yeah, but it's been eight months. Well, right, but maybe someone there knows where they left, too, if they're not there anymore. Eight months isn't that long. I suppose, but, I mean, it doesn't explain the the blood in my house. Um, One of my sister's beds was drenched in blood, and that doesn't She nudges her in the ribs, and she's like, well, at least they're alive. It's what you wanted, right? I, I guess. But I... Now my worries, my initial worries of going back to Boston are arising. Well, we can handle that in time. It doesn't have to be a right now thing. Obviously, we've got a lot going on here. That kind of needs to be taken care of first. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Was it what you expected? I mean, not really. It just feels incredibly awkward. Yeah, I probably I, shouldn't have introduced myself the way I did. Yeah, uh, it, it's okay. I mean, it's not false. It's the truth. <clears throat> I think I just get kind of upset when you didn't say it. I didn't know what to say or how to say it i suppose that makes sense uh she like, just kind of like looks away <laughs> <laughs> uh she takes the purse chicken out of her purse all three of them and sets them on the ground in front of them Safe to assume I stole the plates that they were on as well, and not just setting carpet or setting chicken on the carpet. I was about to ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm. Would it be a really bad idea to use flaming spear inside of this hallway we're in? Would I know that? Uh, it would feel just like the interior of any other building. But I mean, like, it's not so narrow that I'm gonna cause a fire. Uh, no, it's like a little wider than your average hallway. Okay. Definitely wider than the one at my house. Okay, fair enough. Uh, then yeah, I'm just going to reheat some, some purse chicken for the two of us and hang out. Unless there's anything else you wanted to talk about, uh, Tatum. I mean, no. Okay. Not that I can think of. So effectively, we just wait to see if anything happens on our shift. Yep. Uh, shift goes by. That what? he is in the room, right? Yeah, you you have confirmed. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, okay, cool. Father is in the room. Um, when you look inside it, he pretty much has everything he needs. Um, occasionally, a servant will come by to check on him. Servants are wearing the same sort of insignia that you are. Um, can I roll a blanket perception for those? Uh, do you want to do perception or insight? Ooh, ooh, they're both not great. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if they're the same modifier. Do you have a preference? Uh, insight for people. Unless you're trying to like find something on them. Oh my god, it's a good roll. It's a miracle. That is a good roll. Holy shit. Um, 
yeah, the the few servants that come by in your shift, uh, you get the feeling that they all just kind of want to do their job. Um, that they kind of hope he doesn't need anything too involved. Definitely not. Def, none of them scream assassin. None of them scream assassin. Okay. Most of them scream board worker. Fair enough. Uh, and then your shift basically passes with no no issue. So Miriam is going without sleep. Heard. Uh, Miriam, you were able to find basically your family tree going back uh, probably 1,500 years. Ow. Shit. Which is only like six yeah, or seven generations. generations. Yeah. Right. But still. It's a long time in human time. Uh, no, we'll say it goes back even further. We'll say you find like 3,000 years of your family history. Uh, is there anything about how hard, how far back the, the seer thing goes? Uh, it goes back as far as the family tree goes back. What is that song in this playlist? Um, and then I find anything interesting um, for like phoenixes or is it just the standard stuff that i've been finding just standard stuff like like an entry in a national geographic encyclopedia of animals essentially is what you get okay the phoenix is a rare magical bird native to the southern hemisphere mostly found in the desert of scaldris yada 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 Hold up. So when we switch shifts, is it just Xander showing up, or is it Xander and Miriam? Miriam will eventually show up. But not initially? I don't know. It depends on what the DM thinks. I'm sure she'll uh, be by eventually. You said hold up like six times. What goes on? Just if Miriam would actually make it on time to the second watch. Oh, that's what all the holdups were. Yeah, you'll you'll make it on time to the second watch. Cool, 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 cool. I feel like there's so much shit going on that I don't know about. Yeah, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't sent a whisper in ages. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I think, we're, yeah, just the last one that... to see if anything happens during the second watch. Heard. I guess, yeah, you guys don't have the same, like, what's going on with our relationship stuff to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently I come from a family of seers. That's fun. Yeah. Makes me want to try it. It's like some wizard shit, right? I think so. It's kind of cool. Apparently my grandma's alive. Didn't know I had one. I think we all have grandmothers in some fashion. Well, yeah, but, you know, never knew her. <laughs> Just kind of assumed she was probably dead. That's fair. I think my granddad's still in Zinzana. I don't know, it's been a couple years since I've seen him. Ooh, that reminds me. I still need to write that letter to them. Fuck. They're probably wondering why I never wrote again after all the stuff in Alimora. They might think I'm dead. I'm sure we'll be alright. Probably. Should probably. Them. They did invite us back to Zenzana. Or, I guess me, but... I mean, 
there's a small farmhouse there we could stay in, but probably might as well just get an inn. What, you don't want to stay with your family? I just don't think there's really room for everyone. Fair enough. I mean, last I remember, I think my dad was working on an extension to the house, but I, I think he gave up on it after, uh, after I left. After, like, maybe, like, two hours of us just keeping watch and it being boring as hell. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna go stir crazy sitting here. Can you just continue to watch the door with... I'm, I'm assuming there are other guards. It's not just us, right? Yeah, there's there's at least one other guard in there with you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, I'm, I'm kind of listless. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. Okay. Yeah, why not... So Asgard. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna just. I want to walk around the. I guess. I guess like the adjoining hallways and. There aren't any. Well, I mean, like like the other areas in the the place. Like, I just. I just want to wander for a while and see if I see oh, anything like, out of the ordinary or anything that kind of stands upstairs out. Upstairs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like. Go for it. Maybe like. I don't know what you want me to roll there. For Thapsin. I can roll perception. I'm not very good at that. For six to ten. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you don't you don't see anything that really stands out. Just a lot of artwork, artifacts, things like that. Yeah. I think after I kind of wonder for a while, I want to cast because I'm I'm from from the description that I was given, like the book gave off an aura, right? Yeah. So, if the book has to be next to the person who has it, it stands to reason that if the person was nearby, and I had detect magic going, I would notice the same aura. Yeah. So, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll probably just keep wandering around and looking at people, and I'll probably cast detect magic... Uh, let me see how many times I got today. Um, I had a long rest. Um... I'll probably I'll cast it three times, just kind of intermittently. Like I'll cast it, and then I'll wander around for like an hour, and then I'll head back to the door, and then I'll cast it again, and I'll just watch the hallway, and I'll I'll do that maybe uh, three times over the course of like four hours. What's the range on it? Uh, thirty feet. I'll I'll just link the spell because it has uh like a field of depth it can go through. I mean, a couple of times something on, like, hanging on a wall pings, mm. uh, but they're just, like, one is on a, a clay statue um, on a plinth, mm. and another one is on uh, a shield hanging on the wall. Uh, but other than those two things, you don't sense anything with your detect magic. Okay. Yeah, I'll just kind of hang out next to the door. Yeah. Um. Well, I was going to run to the bathroom real quick while you guys were doing that, but I will wait. No, go for it. Do it. Okay. We are going to wait for her, but... <laughs> yeah. fucking guard duty am i right yeah it's it's real boring how long have you guys been doing this like guarding this one room uh about two weeks now anybody there been any like visitors to the keep that seem unnaturally friendly or not particularly we haven't really We've almost been on full lockdown. The only people that have come up here are people that we've known for years, with the exception of the five of you that came up today. You got people posted outside the, the window? We have we have guards on a few of the lower levels patrolling where they can get a clear view of the window. Okay. So as you guys have this uh, 
Walk down pretty tight. Yeah. Two magistrates died in the span of a month. We uh, saw the pattern and reacted. That's pretty smart. Figure uh, you guys have pretty much got it under, under control for the most part. Would be a little bit worried about an assassin that could, you know, easily infiltrate. Yep. <laughs> he says just like staring at you. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And oh, that is oh, why there's oh, at least sorry. one guard here. Sorry, no, 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 I'm, I'm not really the assassin type. And then I sort of like, like do a little hop and I like jingle in my chainmail. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little too loud for that. You also got right next to the door while. Yeah. <laughs> you're new. Uh, look, man. I, yeah, fuck it. I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I don't really see a point of me doing this. It's more for a friend. Been there. I don't think there's anybody here gonna try to assassinate a guy with guards all over the freaking place. Not without a good point of infiltration. I don't like the music that just came on. <laughs> so the only way in or out of that room is through the door in the window. Uh, the In the room that you're in right now, it's the staircase going up and the window at either end of the landing. Right, but the, uh, the room that the guy's in. Yeah, that there's two floors in there. Uh, so there are a few different windows, but this is the only door that goes into the room. The ground in the hallway. Is there like a big rug? Is it like hardwood? Uh, it is wood without any sort of seams in it. Okay. And the there there is a rug covering like this big center portion of it. Like almost to the walls, but not quite. Yeah. Just trying to get a better picture of... Yeah. I'm really trying to think, what would I do if it was the other way around? If you I, were the assassin? I'd probably just bamf into the room, stab the dude, and then bamf out of the room. You haven't walked into the room, have you? No. Okay. Are we allowed yeah, inside? Yeah. I was yeah. under the impression that we weren't. Yeah, you're allowed inside. Oh, then I would be staying inside. Yeah, I, I, would, I, 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 even even if given that, I would have been outside. But I, I guess I would have seen the inside of the room if Miriam went in. Yeah. You would have seen inside. It's very nicely decorated. Um, no, Miriam doesn't really have anything. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally inside the room. Uh, Valadin's dad is currently doing his trance thing in the downstairs room. Kind of make some rounds. Walk around, keep an eye out for things. Yeah. After a while, I guess I'm going to join Miriam and just keep my voice down to try to not wake him up. I don't know if, they, if it's not really sleep or whatever. I, yeah, whatever. I'm trying to be um, respectful. When you step into the room, yeah. uh, your armor and tabard revert back to their normal appearance. And that weapon you have becomes visible. Anti-magic aura. Oh, it's like an anti-magic thing. Yeah. Interesting. That would explain why... There's also a guard each... Uh, a guard in here on each level. Yeah. I was I was gonna say I want to like go down there and look at the guy oh, and just Steven, look at him. I don't want to be this person, but I do have a thing. Oh wait, no, I don't. Never mind. You gonna go look at the guy? Yeah, I guess from the the slow, like I guess there's like a landing and I can like look down at where he is. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, he's just a old elf dude, like half asleep. Maybe it maybe it sounds like I don't even know if you can make a roll, but is there any way that 
I could check to see if maybe he's been replaced. I guess I would need to have known him beforehand to know if it was like an imposter. Um, I mean, you can make an insight check, but it's going to be hard. Uh, I'm not good at it. I don't, I don't even think I want to roll. Um, I mean, yeah, you could just choose to fail. Like, uh, it, it looks like a guy. I mean, it looks like a guy. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go over to one of the guards in the room. And, yeah. I don't know, has... Has he been different lately? Is he more or less the same? Uh, he's more or less the same. A little annoyed at the situation of, you know, being cooped up and not being able to leave. But he also knows that that could kill him if he does. So he's been pretty all right. That's fair. I guess it seems like you guys have a valid protection of wards in the room. That's probably what stopped the assassin so far. Is this standard? I mean, nothing's really standard. This is the first assassination attempt that we've ever had to defend against. Right. So the other uh, magistrates that were killed didn't have this sort of protection on them? No. The, the first one had no warning. After the first one, we here we're a little worried but we didn't really step up security until the second magistrate died right <laughs> okay is there anyone on the guard staff that's been that's new or has been acting odd lately no after the uh after the second magistrate died, we he's very selective about the guards in here. There's only eight that are allowed inside his room out mm. of his entire staff. Well, now twelve, I guess, but Fair. And there's only six servants that he allows in here as well. And at this point a gunshot rings out. Um, can, I, can I hear, like, what direction? Outside. Oh, outside. Okay. Um, can I see if there's, like, a window open somewhere? A little, a second after the gunshot rings out, uh, there's a thud. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to wherever the nearest like window is if there is any uh, yeah. to where the gunshot came from. Yeah, looking outside, uh, you see yeah, chaos. Not the not the tiefling, but a bunch of people um, moving around, uh, running around. The guards down there have their weapons drawn and are looking, but. Uh not able to see anything. Does it look like the leader's been tagged by something? The elf? Yeah, if I look down at a uh, dude bro. Uh he is awake and standing up now and uh you can tell that he wants to look out the window but he's holding back and like ducking down a little. Okay, but he doesn't appear to have been shot. No, he does not appear to have been shot. Okay. I'm going to go into the hallway. Because I'm assuming that everyone is now looking outside. Yeah, basically. Yeah, would we have heard this? Um, I'm going to say Seraph is having trouble sleeping and would have heard it. You are dead asleep. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm... Yeah, if I hear it, I immediately wake up Ilya. What? Uh, what? Gunshot. We need to go. Are you dressed enough for that? Gunshot? But, yeah. Okay. I mean, my armor's leather. I'm literally throwing it on as we're running down the hallway. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, I, want, I want to body block the door. Because I, I know what I would do in this situation. Yeah. Got it. Uh, I'm going to go stay down there with him if I'm able to. Yep. 
And are you casting mage armor on yourself or him? Uh, can I do it on both of us? It's not concentration. I mean, if you have the spell slots, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it on both of us. Does it work? Oh shit, yeah. does it work? Okay. Oh no, no it doesn't, you're right, shit, I forgot about that. Thank you. Fuck, I'm about to be useless. Uh, shit, should I still mark off the slots for that? Uh, mark off one, I'm not gonna cost you the second one for it. Okay. Like, as soon as I realize it didn't work the first time. Yeah. Unless Miriam is the type of person that would try again and be like, what the fuck? She would probably just be like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and pull out a dagger, I get. Oh, no, she has a crossbow. <laughs> you, I mean, you have a sword. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I gave you a sword. You did? Yeah. You no. gave me, like, a wooden sword. No, I gave you my sword, my old sword. Oh, shit, you did. I wrote that down because I'm an idiot. Miriam also doesn't know how to use the sword. <laughs> Got a sword. Um, I'm assuming that like Ilya There's goes straight for the room and just goes to see what's going on. Uh, yeah. When you try to open the door, though, it it basically you're pushing against Xander, who is holding the door closed, essentially. Okay, I'm just gonna shout at Xander like, "Hey, is." Is everything all right in there, at least? It's fine in here. They're outside. Okay, I'm gonna go find Valadin. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> oh sorry. my god. I just put the stats for a longsword in my character sheet, and it does 1d8 minus 1 slashing damage. It's not so. terrible. It has a uh, plus 2 to attack. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts, at, if that's okay. Or is that a targeted spell that I need to... Yep, never mind. That's not gonna help full, because I need to see the thing I'm casting it at. Alright, Ilya's oh. gonna go try to find Valadin. That's a good thought. Uh, yeah, you, you run up the staircase and practically bump into Valadin as he's running down with a small retinue of guards. Valid, and there's been gunshots, I'm assuming you know that already. Yep. Is he okay? Um, yes, he's fine. He's in the room with Xander and Miriam. Um, but we need to find out where it came from. There are elven guards in there as well. Okay, yes, there, yeah. Okay. Um, he turns to the guards behind him and says to three of them, you three stay here. Uh, wind riders, follow me. <laughs> he what? says okay. to the one person who's there. <laughs> yeah. Wind riders, uh, include Delia. <laughs> I assume. I mean, he says it loud enough that you guys inside can hear. Uh, and I assume Seraph's nearby-ish because she like. Wait, where was Valadin in relation to us? Like, literally on that staircase going down is where Ilya bumped into oh. her. Yeah. Like, yeah, he rushed up to make sure his dad was okay. I get, keep getting confused that we're downstairs and not upstairs. No. Yeah, you're basically at the bottom yeah. point of a uh, inverted skyscraper. That's on me. I had it backwards. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as there's, like, three guards, guards at the door, then I'll stop blo blocking it and I'll let them in. Um, yeah, but before I let the three of them in the room, the guard that's already there, I say vouch for them now. <laughs> he he gives you a short nod. Okay, and then I'll I'll let them in, and then I'll go out and follow Valadin. I'll yell into the room, "Hey, Miriam, we're leaving. You should come." Oh, thank God, <laughs> puts the sword away and comes out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you says the one person who doesn't believe in any gods. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, valid and the two guards that he had stay with him, and the four of you are now going up the stairs, up to the, back to the main floor that you entered this palace on. 
Um, and Xander, actually, when you were talking to the elf at the counter, you get the idea that, like, just like castle and palace and things denote a specific style of building, that elven word depicts this style of building. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, the seven of you now, uh, basically make a beeline towards a door uh, and Valadin opens it quickly. There are two guards already standing outside of it. Uh, and the door opens and you see Chaos sitting there. His pistols are on the table across the room and he's just like sitting there as non-violently as he can. Hey everyone, I uh, I, I heard the gunshot. I just, I'm here. Okay. I'm not. His guns are on the table, correct? Yeah. All right. As soon as I see that his guns are on the table, he's like pretty close to us, right? Uh, he's like four feet away. Okay. Uh, so um, he can't like grab a gun and shoot it. Okay. I'm gonna go over to his guns, like quickly, and I'm gonna grab them. See if one's hot. And I'll say, uh, I'll give these right back, and I'm gonna chuck them in my bag of holding. <laughs> okay. And then as soon as after as soon as both of them are in the bag of holding, I'm gonna lift up my hand and draw a rune in the air and i'm gonna cast locate object gun firearm that you know that's smart <laughs> that's <laughs> like your throws one. away a page and a half of us trying to track this person down you guys think i have notes <laughs> Um, yeah, no, you get a, uh, you get a ping. Um, it is southwest of you. It's kind of at the edge of your, uh, range. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let you get the ping. You get the ping. It's like right at the edge of your range and it's moving away from you and down. Okay, I'm going to point uh, out where it is and say, how do I get that way as far as I can? Perry tinsons. Getting over to those fucking Perry I, I want to ride. Can I come? No, stay here. I've been hunting her for so long. Uh, I'm going to grab Chaos by the hand and drag him with us. If I take your guns out of my bag, my spell stops working. <laughs> I, I mean, still come with us. I don't need them yet. We're wasting time. Let's go. Yeah, the, uh, the the seven of you start running towards the Peritons. Uh The guards there seeing Valadin sprinting basically just like step aside. Uh, and Valadin takes his own Periton and the rest of you are doubling up. Uh, as many of you with, I mean, two of you with guards. And you take off flying towards where Xander is pointing. Um, even though you are catching up, the ping on your locate object vanishes. Okay. Do I? But the the you spell still, is still active. Yeah, the spell is still active, and uh, I'm gonna say the the spell will give you a better than normal idea of where the last place it was is. Okay. So if it, if it's if it's it like downwards like off the tree, uh, I mean it's fucking nighttime, right? It is nighttime. I mean, I... it's like about when I go to bed, nighttime, like three or four a.m. Yeah. I guess I just. How far up are we? Uh, right now you're probably seven hundred feet up. Oof, never mind just like flying through branches and dodging it's if like we... that scene in uh was it empire strikes back or return of the jedi damn it you know if we if we had left chaos behind i could locate object on the book i mean in theory that wouldn't... is a thing you could track but I mean, it's just, it's just that go theory it would it it's... might go with both you know it, it shows me the closest type the closest ah. object well, I mean, theoretically, there's lots of books here. It wouldn't well, I, I can I can say this particular book. 
and it will point me towards the direction of that particular book. I assume they are all the same. But it, I can't do it because it's going to ping me to that his. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we're, I'm just going to try to head to where I last got the blip. I don't know if I can judge direction very well of like where it was heading because it says if it's in motion, you know the direction of the movement. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I can yeah. kind of like anticipate that and go that way. Yeah, you know it was heading southwest and down. Yeah. Um, um yeah, you uh you basically reached ground level trying to head it off because it was pretty low to the ground. Okay. Uh all the paradins land. You're not quite near the entrance of the town that you came through, but that is further southwest of you, and that shopping center is over there as well. Okay. So, I want to I want to look around for it. Looks like anybody's who's running mm -hmm. when we when we're like when we're coming down. Because I'm assuming even though it is this late at night, the city's probably still lit up, right? Uh, yeah, the city's lit up by like glowing blue orbs of light. Okay. I think they were blue. I mean, it's your world, Steven. Make whatever color you want. <laughs> uh, I said a color last week. Oh, her. or last session. They're blue on Tuesdays. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they alternate colors. Blues days. <laughs> Every day of the week is a different color. That's how they keep track of time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can't see the sun. You could do worse, yeah. I I'm assuming that they are they missed their shot and are trying to escape. You can uh, either make uh, perception to try to find someone running. Well, to, find, to try to find someone running, that's actually just going to be perception. Yeah. Yeah, I want to I wanna do that. On Xander. Great. Fuck. No, in this in this crowd, nobody's running. Um, I mean, there are a, a few clumps of people. Oh, you know, I mean, fair. It is a city, though, so like. I mean, I expect some people. Not crowd. Yeah. Um, we, got, we got what seven other pairs of eyes, or six other pairs of eyes. In this, in this, like shopping center area, there's a few clumps of people that are all looking up. Uh, towards basically the direction that, that your thing pinged the firearm. Um, but nothing... Nobody's running anywhere. Um, nobody really looks out of place. Fuck. I did warn you, she's a professional. I'm gonna pause in the, I guess, the, the, the thoroughfare... Yeah. Like looking around at, at, at people for a few seconds. Uh, Valadin looks to one of the guards next to him and tells him to lock down the gates. That guard will get on a periton and fly off southwest. Looking for, if I, so if, if I assume that the person came this way. Do I feel like it was moving, like, really fast? Uh, no. You were definitely catching up to it super fast. Okay. Hey, Steven. Yeah. Suggestion says that you suggest a course of activity and influence a creature that you can see within range that can hear you and understand you. Yep. Does that mean that everyone I can see that can hear me and understand me is affected by it if I'm like calling out one person specifically. What's like if the... I say, if you just fired a gun, turn yourself in. What's the target? Uh, just everyone that I can see on the ground in front of me, and I'm going to use. No, I mean on the spell. Uh, it says target. One creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Uh, you would have to pick the one creature. Okay, never mind then. That is a good idea, though. Just a thought. 
yeah, I need to be able to see what I'm looking at too. Um, from from where I am in in this thoroughfare, looking at the like different dips and alleys and sides of buildings. In my past, I was a thief. Do I feel like there's any that scream, this is the safest way to get away from a robbery? Uh, like, like there's not a lot of people, or there's, like, more shit, it's more shadowy, or, like, it looks like the, it, it wasn't being watched or guarded. Doop, 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 doop. I wish it was like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish there were more knowledge skills. Um, I'll let you make an insight check with advantage for that. I mean, I could always roll stealth. I feel like stealth would be acceptable. Uh, I thought about that, but you're trying to get in the head of someone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could roll stealth if you want. I just feel like insight also works. Um. What the fuck is Twinewood? Ah, uh, that's my my dagger that I bought. Oh, okay. At the elf place. Um. Yeah, you know that standing here where the rubber neckers are just like staring would be a good option, uh, or if you can't blend in, getting to the shadowed alleyway back behind the tavern in the stables would be another good option. Uh, a secondary thought. I, can I cast Disguise Self on myself to look like the person they were trying to assassinate as to maybe draw them out into attacking me? Oh. Yes. Oh. You can do that. Okay, I'm going to do that. The second we hit the ground, I'm going to cast Disguise Self on me under like the... So like it's just under the periton, so like I'm kind of obscured while I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. And then just like nudge uh, Ilya and Miriam and be like, just go along with it. Make it look like we're trying to get me out of here. Uh, I'm going to say. It, it probably it's been a few seconds since we landed and I have been looking around trying to figure out what to do. Um, I'm going to say I lost the gun. I'm going to keep looking and I'm going to run into the alley. Splitting the party. <laughs> like, we're on a timer. Yeah, I agree. So. Besides, if we, if we, if, if shit hits the fan while I'm not here, Miriam can cast Dancing Lights and I can get back. Like, can't Dancing Lights up in the sky. That's something we talked about in the past. So, yeah, I'm going to try to, try to pursue the, the escape route. Yeah. Um, you're keeping up locate object, right? Yeah. I mean, it concentration up to 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it up, but it, even if I've lost the blip. Yeah. Um, yeah, you you run into that alleyway. Um, that's the quote of the night, and I'm going to give you like 50 XP for that. What? Ash? For saying that? Yeah, I can't let someone else's parents die, even Validins. There you go. Okay. I'll take it. Also, thank you. Because <laughs> it's very... Seraph's going through some shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, make a perception check for me, Travis. Great. That's my favorite skill. It. I definitely have it trained. I oh, that. I think yeah, I put it back to normal. Put it back to normal? Uh, and from point. advantage, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Um, I've been muted this entire goddamn time, and I'm so mad at myself. I said earlier that I was following Xander. Gotcha. Okay. So I don't know if that would be helpful at all in that role. Uh, Xander, go ahead and make it again, and we'll take the higher one. I wondered why you were being so quiet this whole time. I, I muted yeah, myself apparently at one point. Still a 13. Still a 13. 
Uh, yeah. The... Go ahead. No, you. I was going to say there's a possibility you've been muted since your sushi got there, I think. Oh, I had <laughs> muted myself after that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you you run back into there, Miriam and Toe, and both of you looking around a bit. Uh, don't see anything out of the ordinary for a back alley. There are some boxes behind the tavern. Um, tucked up like against a tree that the tavern's tucked up against, but that's there's nothing out of the ordinary back here. So there's so there's like boxes and then like tree and then like roof. Essentially, yeah. How high up is the roof? Uh, it's like it's so it's not a normal roof. It's like part of the tree. Right. Uh, but up at the top of it, it's probably like 15 feet high. It's almost like one of the roots came out and formed the building. Because if, if I was on the run and people were after me, I'd probably try to change elevation. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So... If I can see a clear point that I'm on the tree that I think could support my weight, like a big branch or something, um, I'm just going to misty step to it. Yeah. And try to get, like, if, if nothing else, if nothing to try to catch up to the person who might have climbed up this way, but to maybe get a better vantage of the area, if I can get above one of the main, main buildings. Yep. Um, go ahead and make another perception check. Uh, you have a pretty decent vantage of the, the main thoroughfare shopping center area from up here. Uh, and you can see further down the alleyway between the, the stable and the tree there uh, and this building here. Um, you don't, you still don't see anybody like moving in the shadows or anything like that, but you have a nice vantage point now. Do I, do I see anyone who seems unconcerned with the events that are happening uh, no. Okay. Um, Shit. You do see uh, Valadin's dad just chilling in the thoroughfare. <laughs> uh, with Ilya, Valadin, and two guards next to him. Mm -hmm. And Seraph. No, not Seraph. Seraph is... Bleh. It's like, Seraph wait. Currently is... Ily <laughs> That's Valadin's fucking weird. Dad. Yeah, I just realized how fucking weird that is. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Seraph and Ilya. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Chaos. Mm -hmm. Chaos is there. Still gunless. Did I have his guns? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um... You guys just like looking around this area while Travis and Miriam ran off. I'm well, trying. Are we acting like Sarah oh, is yeah, the. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing up for sure, like trying to get him out of there. Gotcha. I'm like, I'm also gonna make it look like I'm trying to slip out, but be as obvious about it as possible. Yeah. So uh, one of the guards will take the Peritons uh, over to the stables, playing along with this. Um. Um, yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna hate me after this. Oh no. <laughs> uh, because we're gonna have to end very soon. Um, so yeah, one of the guards takes the Peritons off towards the stables while Valadin and Ilya and the last remaining guard in chaos all kind of huddle around fake Valadad. <laughs> Did you just say Valadad? 
Oh, I know what I'm naming the episode. Yep. <laughs> Boom. Baladad. Oh, oh, what boy. is his actual name? Ardrith? Ardrith, yep. Okay. Um, huddling around the fake Ardrith. Uh, <laughs> and walking towards the southwestern gate. Um, at this point, a blip appears on Travis's locate object uh, across the thoroughfare from him and about a hundred feet higher into the trees. Uh, it's probably 700-ish feet away from you. Fuck. And that's where we're going to end for tonight. <laughs>